going live, going live. You're live, yay. Um, oh. uh, hold on, let me. <laughs> Uh, chicken, fish, chicken, fish. All right, everybody remember to fill out the meal survey. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> All right, then we're going to hide that so I don't... Look at the numbers. That's not what this is about. Um, hello, testing. Happy Monday. Um, hope everyone's uh, hope everyone's doing good. Sorry, I'm making sure this uh, yeah, it looks a little far away. Let's scooch you. Don't be a stranger. Come come a little closer. Um, happy Monday. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, we're playing a little more Stardew Valley today. Um, it's the it's the big day. Uh, at some point in the stream, we'll be deciding on my farm Sona's partner, um, and we're going to be getting married today. Um, the opposite of the the show tune. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Don't forget to smash that like for the happy couple. Um, uh, I had a bunch of jokes and they're just falling out of my brain. It's been a weird day. Um, I hope everyone's going well. Uh, don't forget, as always, there's a link in the description to a card that I'll send you to resources for social awareness and education, mental health, crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. I stared at my camera while I said it out of habit. Should you or someone you know need them? Um, hope everyone's doing good, doing well. It's Monday. I need my coffee. I got my piss pail. All right. Um, but yeah, we um, we have courted three people. We've given them flowers. Um, we have the engagement pendant, right? I should double check that. Um, our choices are Leah, the artsy type, Abigail, the witchy type, and Harvey, the doctor, um, who conquered his fear of heights just to, uh, prove their affections for me. Um, Abigail, if I remember correct, used a Ouija board and the Ouija board was like, hee hee, you like him. And... Leah's ex showed up and I think we punched him in the face. Um, but I hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's staying safe. The weather is nuts. It's cold. Um, which is annoying. Um, why do I have a fridge in my bedroom? I have a fridge over here. Bachelor life, you know. Um, but yeah, the, the, I want to make like a million bachelor jokes, but you know. They, uh, that shows had to come to grips with a lot of bad practices. Now it's like so quiet, at least on my end. I should be hearing the sound of me picking farm stuff. Let's do that. Um, but this, um, Donation from Lily. I was literally about to say, <laughs> brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you, Lily, for the 10. I hope you're doing well as well. I'm doing okay. Um, it's been a lot of personal stuff and then technical difficulties out the wazoo for filming and editing and stuff. It's been it's been a rough couple weeks. Thank you, Lily. I was about to make the joke um, to donate if you can to the wedding registry. And uh, these streams are, are brought to you in part by viewers like you. Um, thank you to everyone who donates. Thank you again, Lily, for the 10. Um, that money goes towards uh, paying for games as well as paying the bills so we can keep doing streams. Um, oh, my chicken's mad at me. Why are my birds mad at me? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to ring the bell. Um, oh, well, that explains it. They don't have food. Um, I'm not a monster. Don't you dare cancel me. Eh. I take such good care of my animals. Oh, no. Oh, no. E <sighs> Um, <laughs> uh, but thank you that, like I said, it pays for the games and, um, as well as taxes and the bills. Um, so I appreciate that. Oh, everybody needs food. Why did no one tell me animals needed food? That wasn't in the brochure. Okay. 
And if you don't want to or unable to give, uh, you can always support with your uh, attention, watching videos and streams as long as possible, liking, sharing, subscribing, follow me on social media, all that good stuff to support me. Oh yeah, I also got the greenhouse and I clearly haven't done anything with it. Lovely, I'm great. I think I'd have my, my stuff more together before we do the wedding. Um, I don't know who I'm gonna choose yet. And I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to play the game of like, oh man, like, donate if you want to pick. But I mean, if you wanted to donate and give me a, a nudge in a certain direction, I wouldn't be mad. Choose yourself, you know. I have to choose myself, but I, but everybody's got expectations, and I, I talk too much, and I'm, I'm dumb and bad and wrong often. Yeah, I do have the pendant. Okay, sick. Yeah, we're. I was so prepared for this. I even did a test run on my practice profile um, to make sure I didn't miss a step or screw something up. My top three choices were also... Oh, right on. Hell yeah. I feel... That makes me feel a little better. Let's plant our seeds. Sow our wild oats before we get married. <laughs> Lily, thank you for the two. I say go with the vibes. <laughs> well, all of them, like, I mean, we established my farm Sona is a fairly um, omni, right? Is that the term? Type of guy. So it's it's vibes no matter what. But I hear you. But thank you again for the two. And thank you for using vibes. Let's make that a thing. Some people still don't get it. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't think I have seeds to plant, but I need to I need to fill it with something. Man, all my stuff sucks. I'm not gonna press anybody with a with a bronze hoe and water bucket. Haley, thank you for the five. You'd get more money if you married the doctor. <laughs> That's so true. I mean, is that true though? This is a small town, and Abigail's parents own like the store. Uh, but if it's a small town and there's only one doctor... But there's also only one store, because I'm not helping Jojo Mart. Because everybody got really upset when I'm like, should I get a Jojo Mart card? And everyone's right, like, if you do, I'll scream. I think there's more money to be had in the medical business than a store. Uh, it shouldn't be considered a business. Medicine is for helping people. Right, but this is... It's not a business. Life. We don't live in a society... This is the Stardew Valley. This is Pelican Town. We're here for the people. But, but thank you, Haley, for the five. That is a good point. It would make my grandma really happy too. I remember when I when I told her I'm I I'm too I'm too grossed out by the human body to be a doctor when I was in like middle school. She said we could always marry a doctor. And I've never let her live that down. I'm like, okay, way to be. <laughs> Way to be old-fashioned and progressive at the same time. You're right. I could be a doctor's husband one day. <laughs> She's doing good, by the way. Uh, I tried calling her. I know I made a joke about it on Twitter. Y'all should already know it, because ev obviously everybody follows me on Twitter. Um, I tried calling her. Our check-in day is Friday, and she didn't pick up. And then she called me back on Easter, and I'm like, where were you? If we're going to follow that joke... And all the way to the end of the tunnel, Ariana Grande wrote a song about my grandma. God is a woman. Speaking of, hope if that's a holiday for you or whatever, I, I hope you had a I hope you had a good one. Um, hope the tomb was empty for you. I hope the tomb, the wonderful surprise inside. <laughs> Ay, babe. I've told that story I think a lot now. It's a wonderful surprise inside. Okay, lady. 
I like to think that 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 uh that random lady's legacy will be that. I refuse to celebrate spring. Oh no, I didn't get enough seeds. Oh, it's my fault for not celebrating spring. I refuse to celebrate spring because of my allergies. That's when the planet tries to enact its revenge on me. I used to make the joke when I was in like high school and college that um that's why I like styrofoam and I'll always litter to fight back against the planet because I have really bad allergies year round, but they're the worst in the spring. I'm an, I did not know this. And did you know that uh, the government essentially replanted and uprooted majority of quote unquote female trees, the ones that support the fruiting? And so there's more male trees in the wild, so that's why we get way more allergies because there's way more pollen. So the patriarchy is once again to blame. We live yeah. in a society. It, first off, trees have gender. Well, kind of. It's more so like the fruiting. It's like plants, and so. Uh, right. I know all about the stamen. I I read that that I don't want to talk huh. to my kid about the sex yet book. That's the book my mom gave me, where it tells you like how chickens, flowers. And puppies are made. But it, uh, and I'm like, that's nice. It helps eliminate like free fruit access, and by helps, I mean helps no one. Right. Because any any human essential, you need to pay. So Percy Marion, I just married Abigail, even though I have a crush on Harvey that hasn't really gone away. <laughs> yeah, this is. This is basically a dating reality show where I'm going to have to have that dramatic, like, oh, God, I have to send someone home. Is love truly blind? That show is also trash. And I, every once in a while, like, I, I don't need it all the time, but especially in the last couple of years, I just really gravitated to trash. And then I find out, oh, no, this is also a, 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 product or a project that's like deeply rooted in some sort of bigoted practice or something behind the scenes and i'm like great i can't enjoy this anymore but man i love trash so much how are we doing oh this is corn oh that's what i should have done i should have planted more corn oh well we're getting melons I don't want to see any complaining about my melons. <sighs> but, okay, so right now everyone seems to be kind of nudging me towards the doctor. I did really love our hot air balloon scapade. That was very lovely. Do I need honey for anything? We're selling it. I need... I gotta pay for this money. My, my parents aren't gonna do shit. Do my parents show up? That'd be cute. I'm assuming not, though. It's gonna like what's this gonna do to my daddy issues let's all just be honest for a second i guess the nicest wine i can make oh i can make ancient fruit wine right oh no i'm holding on to these to make seeds shit i will i guess we're making orange we're making sherbet wine and ra donated at the same time oh dang types of currency thank you robeson for the 10 thank you ra for the 10 pounds game's getting old but stream is new my attention is borrowed bill is frequently blue what poem is that from also the game's getting old what do you mean game's getting old this is the series will never end well the game scientifically is aging longer it's out yeah this is this is I, for at least a while i think gonna probably be unless people stop watching it uh, um like if people are over it, people are over it but i think this is gonna be my little go-to let's let's take a break from the complex stories the sad things the the um 
the games that make me feel things or let me down at the last minute and then people get mad that I don't like the ending. <laughs> Not mad, just... I can tell, like, just like me, I always want to have a good time, and I feel like everybody else wants me to have a good time as well, but I've had a good time with the games we played recently. Freaking, I do want to make an, an addendum to both God of War and Firewatch. I did some of the side stuff on God of War, and I'm like, you could have incorporated this into the game a bit, so like the dwarf stuff, maybe, or the Valkyrie stuff, because like that was really fun, and I wished it was more tied into a requirement for the game game maybe not the valkyrie because it's it's really hard but i really enjoyed those and was like oh this gave me a chance to live in the world but you know i didn't want the streams to go on for forever and they were extra so i did them off camera and really liked them and firewatch i got really confused when somebody said the relationship changes but the ending is the same the reality is it's all the same and i that really confused me. So it your actions don't have in, really an impact on the ending. I got confused by what that meant when I asked how important my decisions were. Because I'm like, well, if it changes, then what's the point? It not changing, to keep it spoiler free if you haven't watched that or played that game for yourself, um, that makes the, the message exist and a lot clearer. And I'm like, oh, this makes a lot more sense now that I know that the ending does not change. And that includes the relationship. So that that got cleared up for me like the day after we streamed it. Because I like to go back and just replay the games and see how I feel without, you know, needing to talk or entertain or what have you. And yeah, God of War, I really wish some of the side stuff was just part of the main game incorporate that into the main story a bit because that stuff was like fun but yeah it went nowhere because i already beat the game right and it kind of gave me a little bit of that it filled some of that hole of that anticlimactic feeling okay i need a i need to make sprinklers for my greenhouse oh man there's so many preparations to do before this wedding um What was I doing? Oh, right. I need iron, gold, and quartz, right? To make my sprinklies. Yes. No, it's going to be like 11, 12, but we're going to start with 12. Did friggin... The last two, R.A. and Robeson, did they say anything about who they think I should I should get engaged to? No. Damn it. <laughs> I, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to decide. Can I have multiple partners? Can't we all just fall in love and get along? Oh, I guess that's true, Robeson. So I'd be a runaway bride. Oh, don't get married at all. Damn, mate. I If I wasn't doing this as like a stream where I literally in the title and now also on Twitter, follow me on Twitter at the third bill, I've told the internet I'm doing this now. Um, I need to commit to that. R.A. said no influences from uh, me. I'm here for the chaos and the drama. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. That is true. I am being a little unfair by like kind of pseudo shirking that decision off on everyone else. I don't know. Because like I thought maybe like, oh, once I do the cutscenes with them, like I'll get more of an idea of how I'm feeling. I like them all. So I don't know what I want to do. Oh, Lindsay gave us 10 California dollars. 10 California, thank you, Lindsay. Plural relations all the way, friend. 
Lindsay, that's not an option, though. Again, I did a practice run. Trust me, I tried. I'm like, what, what is, is that the Simpsons? Boys, boys, you can both marry me. <sighs> get married, get divorced. Get married, get divorced. Can you get divorced in Stardew Valley? Yeah. I promised myself I would never be my father. He doesn't watch my streams. I've asked him a lot to watch the Last of Us series because he likes he likes sad zombie stuff. And I'm like, oh, you got to check that out. And he's like, there's going to be a show. And it's like, that's nice, Dad. This one has me. You can, you can sit down in your chair and you can watch me. It's fine. He's... He's still recovering good. This conversation was a while ago, but yeah, I've been begging him to check that out. But yeah, I'm a child of divorces. So I don't I don't know if I can I don't know if I believe in Stardew divorce. Farm Sona. <laughs> Actually that would be kind of funny though. I guess we could at one point. I don't know. We'll see. Cause like does 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 much change? When you get married in Stardew Valley, and then in comes all the unwanted advice. For, oh, everything changes if you get the old ball and chain. Has everyone been filling out their RSVPs with their meal options, by the way? You have an unequal amount. You have to RSVP before you order your entree. <laughs> oh, I should probably go to sleep. Do I have to... also ruins your friendship rating? Oh yeah, I'm sure I'm sure we all say we're gonna be friends afterwards. I'm I'm sure. Oh my puppy. Good night, chat. Oh, good, it rained. What? I don't know what I want to do. Oh, tomorrow we're having the Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. Communists. <laughs> I'll pop for dip. There was someone on the street that I lived on who would always bring coconut shrimp. They were... Always my favorite person. Where's my... Don't I have a seed maker? Thank you, Dylan, for the 20. Here's a Stardew wedding present. Thank you, Dylan. Are you also abstaining from <laughs> nudging me in the direction of a partner? Thank you, Dylan, for the 20. Thank you, everybody, for the donations. Like, that really helps me and the channel. Like, I really appreciate that. Um, I need... I need a seed. I thought I had one. I need wood, coal, and gold. I guess I can make. I can make a couple. That's okay. Uh, the fish option is uh salmon, with a side of shrimp. We'll do. Shrimp. It's a seafood medley, but the the fish is salmon. Um, for my grandpa. That's something I would do in real life too. If Assuming I ever get married or salmon exists by the time I get married. Is your fish option coconut shrimp? No, it, I, it's, I said it's salmon, but there can be shrimp with it. It's a, it's a medley. It's okay. a seafood. It's a mixed seafood platter of sorts. Why did I move that around? That doesn't matter. Let me make sea blur. Ah, there we go. Nope. Nailed it. First try. And boop. Boop. Gonna turn these into seeds. And plant some ancient fruit in a modern farm. Yeah. What are you like none of these fruits are interesting 
Haley's dipping because she's got an early morning, but thought I'd throw it out there because she gave a really nice dono. Thank you again, Haley, for the dono. I hope you enjoy the rest of this if you watch it in the future. Um, hope everything's good. Drink some water before you go to bed. Pee before you go to bed. All that good stuff. Just uh, take care of yourself. Or at least train yourself to tell yourself when you're in a dream that you're peeing and you're peeing on in real life. Let's, let's start planting our... There we go. That's where all the money's gonna come in. Oh no, they're gonna take half my shit. When you get divorced, do they take half your money? This is why I don't make games. I'm too cynical for this. What? Thanks, guys. I still drink water and pee. Pee, comma, and drink some water. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. We got cake and brownies. We've got it made today. Look for, I guess, yeah, seeds. I guess. Do I have anything nicer than melons? I have a starfruit seed. What's your cake option? Cake option? It's, um... Uh... They're, um... It's an assortment of cake pops. It's like a buffet. Fun. Yep. Um... I was gonna make a joke. I'm not gonna... <laughs> As long as it doesn't slander my cake dream, I don't care. Slander whose cake dream? Yours? Mine, yeah. What's your cake dream? A big zebra cake. A z what are you, what are you, seven? <laughs> are you a criminal? <laughs> Stop drinking normal milk. Pretty sure I specifically avoided adding a plus one. This is all about me, not other couples. You come alone. It's a master between It's a what? I'll tell you later. <laughs> People being gross. No, me. I'm oh, you're being gross. Uh, plant the flower. Got to give back to the earth. Select a bagel. Selecting a bagel. I feel like there was a reason. Oh, I think I need red cabbage and probably sunflowers for shit. For the magic scavenger hunt. That's on me. I'm the dingus. I'm the one who dingus is. I'm, please don't reference other YouTubers during my stream. It's very rude. <laughs> I'm, I should be the only content you know. That's how YouTube works. Confession video dropping soon. What? Confession video dropping soon. Confession of what? Uh, the, how breaking, uh, how Walter White made a DVD. Oh, that's right. Al Alana's about to finish Breaking Bad, so she's um, making a lot of references to like 2000, what, 13, 14? <laughs> I need to get some cool seeds for my greenhousery. Oh, is that a dead? It was. Do we have any other wedding questions? It is. Okay, yeah. There was a reason why I did the cabbage. Okay. So we'll go do that real quick. I'm pretty sure I forgot to save sunflowers. So we established that the cakes are cake pops. An assortment of flavors. I almost made the same mean joke that I'm not going to make. Uh, 
the seafood option. It's, it's salmon is the main, but it's a medley of uh, shellfish. Do you have a novelty fountain of sorts, like a chocolate or ranch fountain? Yeah, for the wedding party, not for you nerds. <laughs> okay. This is a celebrity wedding. You should just be honestly grateful and bragging that you even got invited. Yeah, I needed a sunflower. God, I'm the worst. What? I need a fish? A... I need a chub. Okay, great. Well, there goes my monetization. What's... Oh, wheat. I'm like, why does this hay get bundled? Okay, wheat and apples. Oh, I do have wine. Okay, well. Don't think we're solving any of the uh, mysticism of the world today. The reward is friendship? What does that even mean? It explains why I had my fishing rod with me, because I really don't like fishing in this game. I'm so bad at it. Is your shrimp going to be color treated like at the Star Wars hotel? Is it going to be blue? It was, but that, does, that, that decision was made before the Star Wars hotel. I just want that on record. They steal from me. Yeah, Halcyon Realness. Max, my name's Bill. It is the hell so you have to pay five grand to come. <laughs> something, something, something. People who donate get better seats. I don't know. Ooh, tilapia. Hit that fish. Yeah, I know I'm perfect. Thank you for reminding me, but I'm not going to listen to your your compliments for very long. Flounder. Does anyone know how to get the fish I'm looking for? I'm not doing that today. <laughs> this is my wedding stream. I'm not saying it. Would you mind Googling that for me? Googling what? How to get that fish. Which fish? The one that sounds like an erection. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't I, Without even anything. thinking, I without even thinking, I almost said, how do I get a chub? The fish. It is found in the mountain lake or cinder, cinder sat forest river of Stardew Valley. The mountain lake. There is a chance to catch it at any time during any season, as long as you are fishing in either the mountain lake or cinder sap forest. I'm assuming the mountain lake is the little cul-de-sac of water by the mine. Yeah. Found near the carpenter's house most commonly. The carpenter doesn't have water by her house? Bamboozled. The carpenter is so landlocked. Putting an umplot over it doesn't make it any less probably going to get me in trouble, Robeson. This is a family friendly space, but not too friend family friendly. Boobs. There. I'm not for all ages. I'm not. For, made for kids or whatever that stupid rule has been. Thank God I swear and talk about, you know, equality for people because that's, you know, apparently an age-restricted topic. Because nothing was worse than seeing that, that news happen while my, my biggest videos are like Steven Universe, Billie Eilish, and now Encanto. I'm not made for kids. I 
know, I'm so perfect. God, yeah, another carp. That's a tent behind me, not the carpenter's house. Y'all are liars. Y'all just want to see me in pain. No one watches the videos where I'm happy. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. That's my fault. I didn't keep my eye on the prize. I wanted the treasure, but you, son, are the ultimate treasure. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, boo. I got a fish. I got it. This one. one of these. There we go. Right, I'm put my chub in this box. It's a chub bundle. Turns fishing trash into resources. Okay. Is that good? Yay, the environment? What does that do for me? I don't think I have too much else I can fork over right now. What's going on? Some folks have mentioned that they're running into an issue when they're trying to submit their donos. Really? Yeah. Damn. Alright, I said hi to Dono install, refresh the stream, that went through fine. Yeah, I was gonna say refresh. Not joking, make sure you're subscribed, because we do have the you need to be subscribed for like five minutes to leave a chat thing because the bots were getting annoying. No pressure though. Dono's help. The thought is also what counts. That is annoying, considering YouTube takes 30% of the donation. You'd think they'd make sure the likelihood of there being a bug being very low. It's fine. I'm fine. That is really annoying, though. Can I sell all these boys? No, I need the carp and the tilapia. Great. Well, that's my fault for not checking that. They take 30%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. And there's also, t I also get taxed on the 70% of it, too. So when you leave 10 bucks, you're really giving me like five, which is still lovely and wonderful. My, my frustration is with the government, not with you. But I am. Yes, indeed. And that's pretty standard, too. Most places do that. Like, Patreon takes, I think, about 30%. Um, $2 super chat. Here's a nudge for Dr. Coffee. Dr. Coffee. Thank you. I appreciate the donation. <laughs> Dr. Coffee is, is a very popular choice, and I, I do... Oh, I haven't been giving him his coffee. Eh, he already fell for me. I don't need to be giving him shit anymore. We are getting a lot of nudges towards Dr. Coffee. Well, thank you. I appreciate the donation. And yeah. yeah. 30% is pretty standard. I know... I think Twitch also does the same thing. Where it's like... 30% is collected... Because, like, to be fair, I'm also not paying to upload 
or have some uh, have a platform to stream on. So it's it's not like it makes no sense, but yeah, thirty percent's a little steep, especially when I'm not one of YouTube's beloved creators that gets on that that uh that page that doesn't mean anything. Okay, I'm trending in your hearts. I'm just saying, a little communal love. Dylan, five dollar dono nudge for Miss Artist. Dylan with the five nudging me towards Leah, Miss Artist. This is the opposite of what I wanted, but I need donations and help making a decision. I didn't think they took money at all. Yeah, they. They're the landlord. It spelled it. They're the landlord. It spelled out in the little terms and conditions thing. But yeah, they take a cut, which again is what it is. Am I going to bed? I guess so. I'm so. This is the hardest part for me with Stardews. I get so distracted so easily. I'm too busy virtually socializing and teaching all the, the dark truths of the internet. But yeah, they do. That's why sometimes um, I get confused on the donations because A, I wish there was just a button I could click and see the donos all at once for the stream instead of having to like dig into the catacombs of my analytics to find it. But yeah, it, it like the the total's always off. So I never truly know how much I like got until like a day or so later when it gets calculated. But yeah. But yeah, Patreon. I think it's I think it's the I think the standard has been relatively around thirty percent unless someone I'm sure when you get to like a bigger level and you have like someone to talk to maybe that gets negotiated or something but yeah it's it's 30 percent <laughs> lily don't know mary the or mary the night boy mary the cute boy yeah i'm gonna marry the boy <laughs> The boy, the boy. I just went past the frickin' museum of free donation crap, didn't I? Yes, I did. The clock tower, Marty. Is that still a relevant reference to make, or am I, am I old now? I mean... I've seen that movie within the last decade for the first time. I mean, as far as the internet's concerned, I've been in my retirement years for a while, since I started <laughs> getting noticed, really. Uh, I think that's everybody I can give away right now. I love seeing the the poll change. It means people are putting in their meals for the wedding. I'm finally getting married. Finally getting married, everybody. In Agrabah. Finally getting married in Agrabah. There's a party. There's a party. Somebody rub my lamp. That was the first time I got a dirty joke. It was Aladdin and the King of Thieves. Jeannie says, somebody rub my lamp. And everybody, oh, like, everybody kind of, like, winces at him or, like, flinches, like, good. And he realizes he said something weird and was like, okay, anyway. <sighs> I shouldn't have sold my sunflowers. It's fine. Hello? I guess I'm getting married to you. Good morning, dear. Okay, bye. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old bomb in a long time. G 
Do you need help with your groceries? It looks even better than I remember. This game literally taught me not to make the assumption that I need to help old people. And I just wiped my ass with that lesson. Here, sweetie, I brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. Oh. It's a pot. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of any season indoors. They also look nice outside. But out here, they can only house in-season crops. You can grow your weed in it. <laughs> Put this in your closet with a growing light. If you need more, they're really easy to make, too. Here, I got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Learned how to craft pot. Well, I'd better go break more bags. George gets grumpy if he doesn't have his oatmeal on time. You have a great day, honey. Alright, well, that was nice of you. I just realized, okay, good, no one's falling out of love with me. I need, to, I need to still give them shit so they don't make the decision to not love me anymore. Man, this game is really not healthy for somebody with my brain. I've got abandonment issues, and it shows. I've got abandonment issues. Working through them on my own. Abandonment issues. Validate me. Like and subscribe. Oh, I got a cow and a goat. I'm like, that's not the sound a goat makes. I need a pig. Goat and a pig. Goat and a pig, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doing the things, doing the taxes together. <sighs> Waiting for the sunflowers to grow. Making marmalade. Right? That's what orange jam is, right? Is marmalade. Or is there something else in marmalade? Is there brown sugar in it? There is. It's just orange, and it looks like I, it looks like gross and veiny because like there's peel in it. That always grossed me out as a child. Sweetness of jam with bitterness of citrus peel. What am I thinking of? I don't know what you're thinking of that would have brown sugar in it. I know most jellies have added sugar. Are you thinking of that? There is a brown sugar marmalade. Molasses. I'm thinking of molasses. Yeah, molasses, yes. <laughs> <laughs> marmalade, molasses. It's all the same. Only the names will change. Don't let the government fool you. <laughs> Just take that molasses and slather it over your toast. It's the same thing, repackaged to trick us. I need interesting things to plant in my greenhouse. I have all this unused, unincorporated land. The luau has been... Oh, I'm not doing that. Do those, do those matter? Do I get anything out of that? Do I need to go to all the events? Uh, do I have a way to get out of here? Ooh, I do. I can go to the desert today. Let's do that. Let me throw my weed inside. There we go. Let's go to the desert. I need interesting things. Because, right, if the luau's going on, that means I can't give anybody their presence today anyway. Which means they're going to forget me. Find someone with hair. With more subscribers. Maybe doing something where you can quantify my success wasn't the best idea. Um, I guess I could just go ham 
buy a bunch of more starfruit seeds. Right? And by go ham, I mean by 12. Have I gotten all the all the events with everybody? Do I want the goth the the witchy goth girl whose parents own the general store? Doctor or the artsy gal? See, I feel like I feel like Abigail just wants to get out of her parents' house. Does she really love me or the independence that I provide? The idea of me. Tell her you don't have a house. She knows I have a house. It's the whole reason why I'm here. This town is small. They know my social security number at this point. I really like all their stories though but i feel like abigail like want like i said wants to get out of her parents house and whereas like leah left the city like i did harvey's pretty established like i feel like abigail's the person who like for lack of a better word needs me the most that's a lot of pressure but i like purple hair and witchy things Business is everyone's business in a small town. Dude, you don't gotta tell me that twice. Ooh, trust me, I know. Alright. Shout out to the small towns that actually are fun. But in my personal experience, small towns are not fun. Oh, you like, you, you like doing acting and musicals and whatnot? You have officially been dubbed the town homosexual. Oh, your Jewish cousin came to visit for a summer. Oh, well, that's, that's the only way people will describe you for all of high school. And if you correct them, it just gets awkward and long-winded and they don't listen anyway. So you just let it, let it go. You have no individuality. It's just assigned to you by others. Everyone must have a label. You don't even get to choose your first time. Back in my day, at least. Very, uh, very stereotypical. I'm, I'm leaving this small town and going to college in the city. And then I'm like, wow. There's all kinds of different people. <laughs> this is a lot more interesting. <laughs> I was actually ranting about that with my dad the other day. The 
guess they finally <clears throat> they finally put in stop sign somewhere where there should have been a stop sign this whole time and he was telling me about how many people were like mad about it i'm like really all the things going on and then i'm like you know what there's a lot of stuff going on let people direct their negative and hateful energy at, a, at an existing traffic sign instead of you know people who they deem different when at the end of the day we all want the same shit thing is the thing that we all want is Hamilton tickets am I right everybody that's all we want those those sick ten dollar front row Hamilton tickets the stream is sponsored by Hamilton Hamilton don't throw away your shot give it to me. give it give your money to me Uh, I sorry, I got really quiet. I apologize. I'm I'm interesting. I'm entertaining. Like and subscribe. I'm just deep in thought trying to pick my virtual life partner for my farm sona. They're coming to my city and I want to go so bad. I mean, I would argue you'd get a better experience just watching what's on Disney Plus not sponsored. It's a little safer, too. Do we trust that many people to have taken all their glasses of juice to then you're going to be shoulder to shoulder with everyone for hours on end? But I hope you get to safely see the show, if that's what you want. It, it was such a better experience, in my personal opinion. A better experience to see the the recorded version. Because it's just like little things that like I never got to like appreciate. Because as much as I love the intimacy of live theater, there's some things that like just landed better in the recorded version. Like, I think I tweeted about it, too. Like, the very beginning, where he's like, I'm Alex, spoiler alert, for the beginning of Hamilton, when Lin-Manuel Miranda, um, imaginary friend of the show, <laughs> when he first steps out and it's like, I'm Alexander Hamilton. It's super quiet in the recording. And that was when it, like, really hit me, like, oh, yeah, nobody knows who you are at the beginning of this and like it's very spooky and has like this beautiful like eerie quality to that moment because you know that's the moment where everyone like cheers rightfully so um your hamilton is about to you know carry a uh, very popular and uh technically um and performance heavy show right you cheer for you cheer for these people they're working hard pay everybody fair um it was something I never noticed until I saw the recording. And I liked that. Little moments like that or, you know, you're never going to get a seat that close to somebody's face. So you get to really, like, appreciate some of the acting choices. It's the original cast. You know, no one's, no one's muttering racist things under their breath right in front of you. And you start, you know getting really pissed off at that person and maybe you just lean forward a little extra deliberately to clap right in that person's ear because they're saying really awful things and it's ruining the experience for you if you're at home you don't have to deal with racist strangers mentioning that the musical is too urban oh yeah that did happen yeah 
at least she switched seats with one of her family members or friends at intermission. But yeah, that lady turned around intermission and called me an asshole. And I'm like, I just don't want to listen to racism during my one my one shot to see Hamilton live. Hey, we got to go on stage though. That's all that matters. We did. We did. That's right. There was a. We don't have to elaborate any further than there was a night where I had to go on stage for Hamilton. That's all we had. To, that's all. That, that's how we tell that story for, hey, forever. Uh, spoiler alert: I I am Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> I gave I gave Lynn. I call him Lynn, imaginary friend of the show. I gave him my blessing to make a musical about my life. Mm. The only thing I said was, "Whatever you do, don't include the adultery." And he said, I promise. And I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need a doorknob. <sighs> I really want <laughs> the Encanto demo so bad. He's never going to do it. My jokes are really dumb. Those dragonfly things are awful. Get, get, get back, blob. Not today. Eh, eh, oh god. Get back. Yep. Nope. No, stop it. Leave me be. Leave me be. Oh, I need my salad. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh, eh. Ah, ah, ah. Just swing wildly. Use your finishing smash move. Oh god. No, why are there so many? Oh, leave me be. Okay, I have, ca I have some cacti. We'll just we'll just eat cacti. Tastes just like how Ma used to make it. With the pointies. With the pointies. I did um as a child uh decide to touch a cactus at a target because i thought it was decorative because my mom she had a fake cactus in um in her office that i got to see once on bring your kid to work day and so i then touched one at target and the needle the little pricker boys got stuck in my finger and my the, they wouldn't let my mom just like use tweezers to pull it out she had to buy tweezers and get it out of my finger so she went we're not spending money on tweezers, so I had to leave it on my finger until we got home. I mean, that makes sense, though. It's a liability thing. I don't care. I'm a, I'm a crying child. Fuck yeah. capitalism. It was the 90s. Tweezers. Gas was like $1.29. Like, you, no one has room in It's not like the individual store clerk made money on the tweezers. Fuck them. You mean times I just give a kid a side of ranch and not charge the family when I worked in restaurants? Because, like, oh... Here you go, kid. Please grow up to be a doctor and cure whatever disease I'm inevitably going to get. Did the cactus talk, though? No. Cacti don't talk. Everybody knows that. If you're a real Hamilton stan, you would know. unrelated and we're not going to talk about the oscars any further than this andrew garfield won right yeah yeah i thought so good for him i was gonna make a tick tick boom reference and then i was like did did andrew garfield win he did and nothing nothing else eventful happened we're not going to talk about that or get into that no no he didn't will smith would have won and i said the w word i gotta put a dollar in the jar oh yeah that doesn't make any sense why did i think why did i just believe wait, you wait, wait. why did i think he won something he did though hold on yeah he won best actor no, Will Smith won Best Actor. 2022, I just looked it up. That Was he up for Best Supporting Actor in Tick, Tick, Boom? 
He was the tick and the boom. He was the ellipses. Oh, different categories. Drama versus musical comedy. That's the Golden Globes, not the Oscars. Oh, shoot. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw somewhere that Andrew Garfield won something. He did, though, because I see... It says he was a winner. Hold on. A winner of what? That's what I'm looking up. What did he win? Goodest Boy Award? Did they have multiple this year? No. Motion picture, musical, or comedy, Golden Globe. Was it a movie moment with that stupid vote in what's the coolest moment in, in movies or whatever stupid shit? Or they were like, shut up, nerds. Oh shit, I'm about to die. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a teleporter to get me home. Yeah, I don't know why Google would lie to me. Yeah, why did you get the impression that he would have won something? Because it said Oscar 2022. For who? Andrew Garfield? Yeah. What would he have won? He wouldn't be the supporting actor. But then again, it's also Hollywood. They'll do things like that to slide someone an award. Oh, they had best actor 2022 list, and when you clicked into it, it gave you a list of the nominees. That yeah. Tricky. Why did I think he won something? I don't know. I thought it was going to be a supporting versus lead situation. But... Yep, yeah, but he... Why would you do this to me? A Joja team member found you incapacitated. Oh I was gosh. billed four dollars for this service. Oh yeah, because I broke his shit. <laughs> I died right before my right before my wedding could even happen. That's on me. I made a mistake. I did this. I betrayed my family. Kerchak was right. Uh, uh, I have way too much crap. Do I need all of this? I don't think I need the crab. I want to hang on to fire quartzes. I have way more than enough stone. Honestly, the whole thing just stressed me out to the point where I, I, I blocked the whole thing out of my immediate memory. Yeah, hit the like button to let Alana know that you're, you're, you're ashamed of Well, at least I won't be broke anymore. It's time to harvest my my pow poo fruits. <sighs> and now that the pot looks over, I can I can give all my love interests a present so they don't forget about me. My gift is this pot of chili. I forgot to bring in the pot. <laughs> my gift is my chili. This bowl's for you. You can tell everybody this is your chili. Even if it's gourmet, this is your chili. <laughs> Please return the bowl. Boop, 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 boop,
Boob. They say if two people leave. That's something I've been debating doing. So I've I've kind of been wanting to just replay the Kingdom Hearts trilogy parentheses series question mark. And I thought, ooh, what if I did that for like a series on the stream, like doing one of the Kingdom Hearts games, doing some other stuff, and then going back to the next Kingdom Hearts game. I've played them a lot. So it would also be a way to experiment with do people like content where I already know what the, the game is like? Had that thought recently. I've been having weird thoughts lately. Is any of this for real or not? Because, yeah, I saw that 4 was announced. That doesn't mean anything to me until it's just in my hand. Because uh, it was, what, like 2014? Maybe even earlier than that, where they were like, we're working on Kingdom Hearts 3, and boy howdy, did it take a long time after that for it to actually happen, to the point where it didn't even come out on the system that we thought it was going to come out on. So, the Kingdom Hearts 4 announcement doesn't mean anything to me, because it's probably going to be on the PlayStation 6. Am I excited? Yes. We Will I two, play it? Yes. We have two enthusiasts for this. For Kingdom Hearts streams? Yep. That would be really fun. And it'd be an excuse for me to get it. Save the rest of our normal star fruits, our pow poos. Um, I gotta sell those and buy more seeds. This is orange. This is mine. I'm home. Fixing some orange slices. I need. Oh shit! I need a salad. I still have amethyst and coffee. And Steven. I'm going to give my love interest presents. That's what love is. Love is things. Love is presents. Love is the validation of seeing a heart pop up over somebody's head. Taking that dive, getting really comfortable, and peeing in the pool. I'm quoting a poem. Yeah, well, I'm about to quote a sign. Welcome to our pool. Notice how there's no pee in it. <laughs> that would be really fun. I guess the thing I'd be the most nervous about is the music getting me in trouble. Just modify it to, to be your own mouth covers. You could drop it as a cover album. That'd be amazing. That'd be so much work. Your mouth would be. That'd be weight. Yeah, I guess I'd have to just do most of it and just put it on a loop. I think you're just. I honestly. I think it's worth it to just fork over the X amount of bucks you would, you would have gotten from revenue. Well, I mean, if I were then to make a cover album, I'd have to give them money anyway for yeah. the license to do a cover album. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're giving me too many things lately. You're all I need. Oh, you smile at me and said, and said, and said, and said. Don't get me wrong, I love you. Does that mean I have to meet your father? When we are older, you'll understand what I meant. When I said, no, I don't think life is quite that simple. When you walk away, you don't hear me say 
please? Oh, baby. I still hear it. Don't go. It'll be called clean and simple. Give me all these star boys. More. More. Give me all your papo fruits. Thank you. So I'm going to make my millions. Uh, yes, I need a couple more of these because I've been using them too much. Thanks. Give me that coconut. We're not fucking around in the caves today. I almost, I almost lost everything. My lava katana is not strong enough to get me through that cave. I keep getting bullied by all the monsters. Because they know that I'm just a bitch boy. I think that's the secret treasure here. Yeah. game what about playing the game and music reviewing as a video after the fact well i mean that has been something that's been crossing my mind it's like I, I if i'm ever gonna do music again it's not gonna be reactions because that shit's the that shit's been shifting in what you are and aren't allowed to do a lot and i just haven't been as uh responsive to music lately as I have been in the past, so I've been thinking about doing reviewing anyway, but I know that music so well that it, I guess the closest thing you would get is like a ranking video if I wanted to do something like that. Because it wouldn't be the fresh, fun, unique, interesting perspective that I like to make content around. It would be me explaining to you what it means to me and and trying to then remove that part of my brain and try to explore what it would mean lacking uh, a personal connection or context. Because, oh boy. Also, everything I think about that song wouldn't matter now. Because, you know, as grateful as I, and happy as I am that... Um, I'm not going to say her name right. I apologize in advance. Utada Hikaru. They came out. And it's like, oh, this to me is like, uh, not a forbidden love, but like, you know, something, something to, that you're worried about, like the response of others, right? And trying to keep things light to avoid reality. And that conversation isn't as interesting anymore because it's like, yeah, duh, it's, it's a, a retroactive gay anthem now. <laughs> like, <laughs> Which again, not complaining about, but like every every interesting thing I'd have to say about that song, I don't think is that interesting anymore. <laughs> oh, that song's a banger. I think that's how I learned how to rip music was to get the remix of Simple and Clean. I wanted it on my not iPod. Okay, so I need to get salad. I need to give everyone their presents. Robeson, you've never listened to Simple and Clean? Robeson. That's a reason to do. The series right there. If people are going to sit there and tell me I don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. Sit down and let me spin you a tale. Explain it to me as if I'm five. That's, that would be a reverse uh, 
atmosphere there where I'd be the one sitting there being like, no, you're wrong. It's not about French fries. It's contextually, or it is about French fries. It's contextually. Oh. God, I love Kingdom Hearts. I got the first game for my birthday in fifth grade. Never turned back. Hello? Who threw up? Well, folks, once again, we're gathered around for a very special occasion. A rare visit from a very dear friend. My world-famous giant omelette. Zesty bell pepper, juicy tomato, rich mushroom, and tangy cheese. All at Olive Garden. All enrobed in a blanket of rich, fluffy egg. Dig in, folks. Did I become friends with somebody and not realize it? Can I have some? Willie, what do you think? Meow. The mushrooms are a tad chewier than last year. Is that a good thing? What is this, an ASMR? With wooden blocks? Aye, lad. Ah, oh, crap. It's great, Gus, and it tastes even better because it's on the house. No, I'm charging you all a lot of money. These eggs are so rich and yellow. Marnie, are, are these from your place? Nope. You can thank Bill over at Chill Farm. Hmm. Chill eggs. Yeah, I highly recommend you refrigerate them, yes. Well, I wasn't even invited. Everyone's just saying nice things about me. This place is weird. Give me your salad. I can only afford one salad. I'm a broke little bitch boy. There you are. How's it going? Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Bill. Did you ever get lonely on that big farm? Leah. Take a cold shower. Okay, so Leah's still into me. That's the, that's not. No. I should be allowed to go into your house whenever I want. We're in love. Isn't that just people's bedrooms, though? Where's my other partners? Boo, you're mean to me. I'm not giving you shit. Are you lonely out there in the farm? Doesn't the doc doesn't Harvey go to the bar? Hello? Oh, I seem to have sprained my ankle. Oh, hey. Get your amethyst. I seriously love this. You're the best, Bill. Better than all the rest. Do you ever get lonely on your farm? Dude, everyone's thirsting for me today. Well, yeah, it's their last chance. It, well, it's the fedora. And the lava katana. They feel safe with it. Where's, where's the doctor? Give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. Does he not go to the bar? I'll never understand responsible men. Do I... Do we get to do overnights in the... What's it called? The fantasy suite. Do we get to do that? Plant my starfruit seeds. Alright, well, the doctor's not going to the the bar. I'm planting my seeds. Oh, no, I already did that. Right? I didn't get mugged of all my star fruit seeds. We were talking about Kingdom Hearts, so my brain left my body. Oh, nuts. <laughs> What'd you do? You're spilling. I spilled peanuts. <laughs> Did you bring it up to share with the class? Yeah, you can have a bite. It's too late. I brush my teeth before I stream. You know this. Anyway, piss in this bucket. Piss in this bucket.
Yeah, because I, I didn't fill out the... Kakapupu, the greenhouse. I shouldn't sell this. Uh, I don't want these, so we'll do that. Sell the milk, make some goat cheese. Man, I have not made money my priority right now. I'm too stressed and focused on love. <sighs> my father. You never spoke a word about your father. Chicken or sea bass? He's not coming to the wedding. He died a long time ago. Sorry. That's okay. I've watched that movie a lot. Never ever had a real family. Never ever had one true friend. Someone who would just understand me. Hey, come on, Aladdin, this mush has got to end. There's a party here in Agrippa. <laughs> I want to see one new thing to do. The only one you were allowed to with extreme supervision and permission from your from your pastor? Yep. I feel. It was all over again. <laughs> I was about to say, was it turning red and then everyone got mad when it wasn't about 9-11? Sometimes I regret looking at Twitter, no matter how stupid or silly it is. I don't like having opinions over other people's stuff. They, they get forged through the curse of information. Ooh. I can give this feather to the mysterious beings that need stuff for some reason. No, you have to put it in your cap. Put it in your cap. Why? <laughs> this is better than a movie. Why? <laughs> we have to call it macaroni. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, Yankees Doodle. <laughs> All right, time to give my freaking boyfriend his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a simp. I'm not a simp. I'm not a simp. Ooh, the lightning. Ugh. I have to wait until, like, the store is open? I didn't realize that my friggin' man came with operation hours. You know what? I'm going to drink all this coffee just to spite him. Oh my god, I am my father. Ooh, cookies. Ooh, this. That is helpful. I should probably get that. But I'm broke. I invested in starfruit coin. That'll pay off. 42 years from now, but it'll pay off. It'll pay off when I make money telling the story about how I got screwed over from a virtual con job. Anyway. <laughs> For me, this is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Yeah. It's not like I hired somebody to look things up about you. Hi, Bill. Uh, read anything interesting in the library lately? Yo, if he's not going to fuck me, I'm not marrying him. Everybody else is like, whap for me. His bussy is dry. Well, um, I'll see you around then. No, say something dirty. Innuendos, please. I gave you coffee. You've already given Harvey a gift today. And he didn't give me shit. This is how nerds flirt. Well, flirt better, nerds. No. You're not a nerd or you don't get flirting? Both. 
pretty sure your uh, sport of choice 100% makes you a nerd. Being a horse girl? Being a, doing a bowling team. I didn't do the bowling team. I was the bowling team. Not here to talk about books. I want to be told it must be lonely where I'm at right now. Everybody else knows that I'm sad and lonely and need to be kept company or I'll question my existence. Oh, sad teacher. You were almost a contender. You're the person I'm going to go to for advice. Be like, oh, I don't know who to choose. And it's like, I'm so glad you're my friend. Okay, anyway. You're a real pal. <laughs> Thanks, C-3PO. You've been a real pal. Triple shot espresso in what economy? I'm gonna go inside. I just wanted a quiet moment. Oh, we have three hearts with Penny. Yeah, that's. It's gonna make her sadder. Zoned again. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know, for a while I was leaning doctor, but he doesn't make me feel desired. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I do have these. Take me to the quarry, please. This is where I'm going to dance all my problems away. I know your heart. Is beating time with mine. You brought love, love, love was on the line. Well, it's time to fight, or it's time to set you free. Or you'll come run, running straight to me. Or you can never, 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 never trust your heart. I don't know. I, I got everyone gifts. I guess I could stand in the store all day and call it hometowns. I gave everyone gifts and he seemed... He didn't seem the same as he was in the hot air balloon. I don't know what I'm going to do. No, why are a bunch of my things dying? Don't die. I planted you. My sprinklers water you. It's an omen. It really is. Everything I touch dies. Piss in this bucket. Piss in this bucket. Henrico has no milk right now. Alright. Time to put the cow down. It's not pissing anymore. Where's a dramatic place in Pelican Town to, like, ponder who I'm going to pick while staring at the the mermaid pendant? The volcano. Volcano? I don't know. What volcano? Are you well? No. Trick question. Lindsay says, so I guess we're having steak at the wedding. <laughs> Definitely not having any fucking milk. Fresh, warm milk. Straight out of the cow's pee-pee. I guess I should make sure none of these are important before I sell them. I know I need the duck feather. 
I'm surprised the void egg isn't something I need. Those are so cool. They're evil little chickies. What am I going to do? Just shots of me just on the farm. I'm so lonely on the farm. I just wish I had someone to share it with. Working out in slow motion. Talking to the underprivileged youths that I help at the rec center. I found some ore. Excuse me. Uh, no, no, no. Bingo. And if only I had a sunflower, I'd, I'd get my friendship. Ben asks if you've made a mayonnaise machine yet. A mayonnaise machine? I don't know. I don't think so. I need earth crystals for a mayonnaise machine. I don't even know if I have that. Unless I was gifted one and forgot. No, I don't believe so. Oh, because I can make mayonnaise out of eggs, right? Is that where mayonnaise comes from? I thought you made mayonnaise with olive oil. Is mayo vegan? No. It can't be vegan. It's egg. People enjoy it. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's egg... Yeah, I don't think I have a mayo machine. Egg oil and some type of type, some type of acid, usually vinegar or lemon juice. All I have is egg oil and ass. Is a vegan version i'm well there's a vegan version of almost like everything but that's good i'm glad vegans can have mayonnaise how bad is the chat delay if people are still telling me what's in mayo that wasn't that long ago I tend to use mayo as like my base for like fancy sauces, you know? I do mayo, garlic, your favorite hot sauce to taste, um, little, uh, little sprig of dill, um, sometimes pepper, mix it all up with a little Cajun seasoning powder, real good. Love. Can the vegan meal option for the wedding have vegan mayo to go with the bread? There's no bread. Who's spreading the rumor that there's bread? You did. It's in the poll. The vegan option is bread. Oh, the vegan option is bread. I was about to go on a tirade about bread. <laughs> it's just bread. Did I really do that? I was about to go. Who's covering my wedding? Or I was about to say like TMZ or something. Yeah, vegan option bread. Yeah. No, you don't get... We're not, we're not made of money. Do you see how much the, those starfruit seeds cost me? You're asking for something with your bread. You put mud on your bread. Yeah. You know what? The bread's actually made of eggs and cream. How about that? Oh. <laughs> so a meringue? Meringue? <laughs>
I'm sorry. You shouldn't be sending shame to me. I've been o very open about like how hard it's been for me to focus on all these different things. You're you're sh you're shaming people who who need to focus and don't always get it done quickly 100% of the time. How dare you? Let us let us all be human beings. Don't don't worship me. Immunity band. My band is actually called Immunity. Pet the puppy. Oh, I already pet him this morning. Is there really much else I can be doing right now? Other than trying to catch more fish because I suck? I need to figure out who I'm going to love. Who will love me as I am? Miss. Don't know what to do. The spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm. I pulled all the weeds. Bitch, where? Yeah, that's what I thought. Fucking... Give me my corn. Weeds. I got all these people fucking contacting me, bitching about the menu. Wanting me to cater to them and their dietary restrictions. Every stand-up comedian was right. Except for, you know, the sex criminals and the racists and the misogynists. They're right. All it is is people going, I, well, I can't eat this. This day's about me, not your tum-tum. Bring some crackers. <laughs> My wife, am I right? Is there an open bar at the wedding? Yeah, there's a bar that will be open for do for do for top donators only. <laughs> it's a donation bar. No, it's not a potluck wedding. I don't want to taste your grandma's nasty raisin casserole recipe. I'm having salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I would have water, but I'm allergic to hydrogen. The water is actually mixed with gravy. So, <laughs> I guess vegans need to find an alternative hydration source. <clears throat> okay. This isn't a bit. Alright. As long as someone... Who eats differently than me doesn't judge me. I don't judge people who eat differently than me. Can a vegan drink their own piss? Because we're animals. That's an animal product. Or is the philosophy behind it consent? I'm not saying casually, like like we're like you're in you're in the wild. You're 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 stranded. <laughs> you're surrounded by salt water. This is the only thing you can do to hydrate. Someone will pick you up tomorrow, but you will die of dehydration. I've, this isn't a recreational thing. This is like life or death. <laughs> Pea is not salt water. Pea actually has nutrients in it. As long as you don't overdo it and keep recycling through your system. Have none of you gone to a scout meeting 
or no one covered like survival in his training. No one had to like be ditched in the middle of nowhere to camp for a week. And it's like, yeah, you can drink your own pee if you have to, but we hope you find a water source. That's what they did to teenagers. Everyone wants to fucking sit there and, and point out the flaws in the patriarchy, but I'd like to point out we had to camp in the wilderness with nothing but one bottle of water and a single match, and we had to figure it out for three days and we couldn't talk. No food. That is a real thing. It's called the Order of the Arrow. Look that shit up. Nobody got to fucking sell cookies and learn how to be a girl boss. I believe in the patriarchy and how fucked up it is, but no one likes to talk about that. The open bar only has gravy water, mayo water, and pee. <laughs> the pee is the vegan option. Vegans get bread and pee. Blade said, I think you were on a reality show. No, that's what they did. Phil, did you drink pee? No, I didn't drink my pee, but we had to learn about it. I just spat. We had to learn that that's like a survival thing you do if you're like you don't have access to clean water you can drink your pee once then it becomes poisonous if you drink the pee you pee out after drinking your own pee are we talking did i curse you are we talking about it too much you we didn't learn how to drink pee we learned that we could <laughs> Y'all sit in your tower of privilege for no adult ever looked at you and went, if you can't find a clean water source, you might have to drink your own piss. According to Google, pee is vegan. You can pee into a thing and drink from the thing. You don't have to shoot into your mouth. Grow up. We're here to have an adult conversation about pee. <laughs> I'm not joking, though. That's what they did. They, You were given very limited essentials. Food is not on that list. Sir, you're going to take my piss coffee. Drink it. For me, this is my favorite stuff. Imagine having a patient's life completely in your hands and failing to keep them alive. That's something that will haunt you forever. Honey, are you okay? According to Google, yes, he is vegan. Uh. I just want to point that out. Growing up, I was very jealous of the Girl Scouts. Oh, and I think that has to have been something I talked about with Mike back when we were doing Let's Plays together, before he moved. F in the chat for Mike. That had to have been something that came up, because that was, like, one of the biggest points of contention when I met him, because he and his brother also did Boy Scouts before I moved there. But their dad was the Scoutmaster, and they did Order the Arrow, and they were given a cup of rice. And I was like, they never gave us food. We were told, if you're going to eat, you have to find something safe to eat. And they looked at me like I was crazy too, but that's what my dad had to do. That's what I did. Meanwhile, Mike and his brother got a cup of fucking rice. Privileged fucks. Robeson donated another 10. Thank you, Robeson, for the 10. We've almost hit our goal of $1,000 in a single stream, and I will teach wait, you how to drink your wait. pee. There's Blander in the chat. I don't drink pee at all, let alone twice. You can't drink your pee twice. Oh no, do I have to... There we go. I'm like, I can't see chat because I pulled up the poll to see the bread. Joke. Darling, sweetheart, take your crystal. I love this. You're the best. I know. Hey, we had one of those star fruits you sold at the shop for dinner last night. I guess it was starting to go bad and my dad couldn't bear to throw it out. It was still pretty good, though. Oh my god, Abigail ate a pow-poo fruit. Do I need to... Do I need to marry Abigail? Do you ever get an urge to go exploring, Bill? Maybe we'll be neighbors someday. I think we both have similar weird tastes. Tastes for pee. Tastes for pee, maybe. <laughs> Abigail ate a pow poo fruit. That's points for Abigail.
<laughs> this stream has too many likes. Um, that's not true. Everybody like, if we hit 30 likes, I'll turn the poll into what everybody's opinions are on who I should marry. <laughs> Is P vegan? I, 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 according to Google. How did you get a tear all the way over here on my shoulder? No, you would do it with. I don't, cause you're, cause you're peeing out of your shoulder. No, what you do, guys, is you boil the water that you find in the wilderness. Did I'm being so serious? Like, <laughs> did I have like a legitimately paranoid scoutmaster, which isn't the worst kind of scoutmaster you can have? I understand that. It was a really weird day to have to take Boy Scouts of America off my fucking resume, and I've never turned back. Mike had to do the same. But no, you, you, you take water, you boil it, and you throw the rice in there. They got rice. Like a whole cup of it. You can survive. Did you guys not learn survival skills? Yes, I learned survival skills. That's why they dumped you out in the wilderness and said, here's a knife and I, some water. I think Morty's referring to, to everybody else. Yeah. Morty, are you the only other person who's also been told, like, figure out the wilderness or die? See, I didn't go to Girl Scouts or anything, but I didn't go to horse camp. This is a very specific... It's not a badge. It's a sash. It's like Miss Congeniality. That's not the Hunger Games. We didn't have to kill each other. We just had to survive for three days. And you couldn't talk. So, joke's on you. No one would watch those movies or read those books if there was no talking. There was no love triangle. It was just me and my wits and my piss. I did not have to drink my piss, though. They do, get, they do supply you with water and you are supervised. It's not naked and afraid. <laughs> I had to wear clothes. It didn't encourage you to drink your pee, but we were told that you could if you needed to. We also had to go Klondike camping, and it's like, yo, if something bad happens, we can drink pee. Like that, These are realities. Before you kids and your fucking smartphones and your Tic Tacs and your YouTubes and your Let's Plays and your live streams and your like buttons and subscribing and ringing the bell and checking the setting and setting it to all so you're notified of every time I go live... Or upload a video before your fucking cartoons with story arcs and non-binary characters. We were just dumped out in the woods and we're told, please don't die. We don't want a parent to complain in person. <laughs> my mom had to pull me. And for the record, my parents pulled me out of scouts because of bullying and getting beat up. Not because of the survival shit. Not because it was too extreme. I want that on record. How many kids did drink their pee? A good number, because a lot of people don't like to pay attention. I found a stream and boiled my water, waited for it to cool down, and drank it. So would you drink your own pee for a Klondike bar? No. Klondike bars aren't that good. I'm an adult. I can just go buy some fucking ice cream. If we get another don dono right now, I can go buy a Klondike bar. I stream games, not pee, for a Klondike bar. <laughs> I'm going to get demonetized. <laughs> uh, Somebody, somebody's parent is going to hear this in the background or some shit and be like, um, my Johnny was watching your Stardew Valley stream, whatever Grand Theft Auto ripoff that is. I don't really appreciate you talking about P and my child seeing it. I've seen the YouTube stats at least like, I think it's like 8% of you are like that 13 to 17 range. Stop watching my shit. You have to respond to them and go, thank you for the engagement. <laughs> yeah. Please leave a comment with your parental feedback. You talked about turning red, and that's about periods. Morons. Yeah, it's not something that was encouraged to do, but yeah, if we ran out of water or a kid was being dumb... You can you can always drink your pee one cycle through. 
and I'm pretty sure there was a liability reason as to why we had to get that specific with our P lesson. Oh, right, I was giving my pomegranate to the people. <laughs> That's several different emergency room people. Just saying, we also had to learn, like, you know, in case we had to give one ourselves or somebody else, like, stitches. We had to learn first aid. We had kids being stupid all the time with knives and stuff. I cut open my jeans, whittling. I'm not here to flex about how reckless my lifestyle is. I am a bad boy. I cut my thumb open whittling with my bassoon reed knife. Stop talking, nerd. <laughs> if the world goes full apocalypse, you'll have the skills to survive. Kind of? Because, again, A, we were monitored. B, it was a long time ago. C, half the stuff we used was, like, kind of cheating sometimes. Like, you know, like, when we had to do, like, one match fires, it was like, okay, close enough. And then they'd throw, like, fire starters in there or, you know, fucking uh, lighter fluid or something to, like, make the fire bigger faster because we're in the middle of washington state and it's wet and cold everywhere so i kind of kind of prepared it's come in handy when like i have people in my life who want to go camping and i'm like hey don't be stupid that's not how you start a fire that'll be like fun or good for you Don't quote the office. I don't drink my own. Why are you being a bully? I'm going to start banning people who are bullying me for going to scouts. I have enough trauma to unpack from that without you all bullying me. I didn't drink my pee, but they did go over it as an option. Should I be in danger? I hated Boy Scouts so much. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, thank you, Robeson. What's up? Five, and it's a tooting lemon. It's oh, nine. thank you, Robeson, for the five. I appreciate that. I think it's in uh, support of my double readed uh, knowledge. Oh. It's not in support of not bullying me? This one is not in the of my receiving list. You're always so mean to me. I think it's time to tell you now, Jerry. I'm the worst pro gamer of the ball. No, yes, you are. The fact that you're the worst, Rick, means you're the best, Rick. Something like that. <laughs> Aaron said, careful. Phil went bad with power last time. He decided to bang people. Oh, you mean Lindsay's second account? <laughs> Canadian. That was the last Stardew stream too, wasn't it? I think it was. Oh man. That was so funny. Don't worry this time drinking pee will keep him humble. I don't drink pee, hence am I not humble. Phil, I'd like to give my wife a star fruit for anniversary. I don't grow those. When are my star fruits going to be done? <laughs> oh, it's for the veteran. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do that then. This one's for the troops. Thank you, Lindsay, for the 10 Monopoly dollars. I just saw that pop up. This, I, I pulled up the poll once to to understand why everyone was talking about bread for no reason. 
just to realize that I, I made the greatest joke of all time. And now it just, it won't minimize it. There we go. So I can't see anything. Thank you, Lindsay, for the 10 California dollars. Where's, where's the, where's the, where's the veteran? There you are. Thank you for your service. Shout out to veterans. We should be taking better care of you. I'm sorry the government has failed you after hiring people to train to basically trick you into signing up for something that doesn't take care of you after the fact. Hey, shh, don't let Jody see. Ah, this looks juicy. She'll love it. Thank you so much. I'm a big Kingdom Hearts fan. We're going to have a pow fruit together. I like to think things are different now, but oh boy. We were still on that big... We gotta, we gotta go get him because 9-11 mentality. Some dudes got really fucking aggressive and like, because they, they would send recruiters to our high school all the time for basically every branch of the military, but it was usually Marines and Army. Yep. But, uh, yeah, um, one dude kind of cornered me once and tried to give me the, you know, the spiel and i said i promised my family i wouldn't and he's like so you don't want to make your family and your country proud and i spelled out for him you know the shit that my my dad's dad had to go through um coming back from vietnam my my other grandpa and what he went through coming back from vietnam what my dad's gone through after coming back from desert storm and like how we have a family track record on my dad's side of going missing and not being found until the letter reaches home of we don't know where your soldier is. And I I was not very kind in this storytelling. And I'm like, so yeah, when I turned 16, brought up the military to help me pay for school. And my grandma is crying for the first time and only time in my entire life in front of me saying, you promise me you if you get drafted, you honor the draft, but you are not enlisting of your own volition i'm like so no i'm i'm not not gonna do push-ups for a lanyard not gonna fucking no i no also my not to play the my dad can beat up your dad card but my dad is also a lot more decorated than the dude who was trying to get my goat at the recruiter's table in the lunch cafeteria shit pissed me off Ugh. anyway rant over and even that person even that dude deserves access to quality care Ugh. rant over because like that's been on my mind a lot especially because of the owl house that's been on my mind because the the like signing up for the i think i've talked about it in my videos and stuff but the the emperor's coven signups and stuff like really reminds me of that stuff which like the show has proven to carry that kind of intelligence intact to where sometimes i feel like it is intentional and not just me projecting my stressors and experiences and trying my best to wake my dad up from a night terror and he also doesn't punch me in his sleep like I don't feel like I'm projecting that concept too much there. I don't even know how I got on that. We were talking about recruiters. Sorry for the ramp. I Again, because my and he's doing good, but I've been talking to my dad a lot on the phone, just checking in with him while he's, you know, waiting for his stitches from his surgery and stuff to have to get taken out and everything. So I've been calling him a little more than I normally do. So all that stuff's been very fresh in my mind because um, he didn't have uh, he didn't, he didn't have uh, that many uh, benefits until recently, and. Um, Suddenly he can go to the dentist and the doctor and they're like, wow, you really should have been doing this the whole time. I'm sorry you didn't have insurance until November of last year. And, um, yeah. So if it had, if we had waited a little longer, my dad would have just died. So. 
is what it is. It's good now. But listen, I'm always happy to listen to him talk about that stuff. But listening to it puts me in an angry place. Talking about it puts me in an angry place. But like, holy fuck. At least this all happened after I paid my fucking taxes for the year. Or for last year. Nah, pay your taxes. That's definitely not optional. If there's one takeaway you can have from Breaking Bad, it's you need to pay your taxes. Boy. Oh, gee, boy, howdy. Oh, right. Who are we going to fall in love with? That's the question here. Oh, yeah, I can give everybody another present now. Oh, my girlfriend Leah hasn't gotten a present in a while. Ugh. Anyway, resources in the description, mental health crisis, science, Trevor Project resources, things like that. That's one of the many reasons why that shit is very important to me. I don't feel like I have to show everybody my business card on why giving a shit is important, but... In case anyone's ever been curious for some context, because it's ruled my life. All those things. In more ways than one. In first, second, and third person views. Chop the wood to light the fire. That's what I've been begging him to do. Speaking of talking to my dad and trying to ma push this into a positive, I've been begging him to watch over the garden wall. Because he can't do anything, right? Well, he, can, he couldn't really do much beforehand with everything going on, right? But really couldn't, he can't do anything right now. So I've been begging him to watch Infinity Train and over the garden wall. Because he's not a big feelings guy. So I, I don't know how he'd feel about, like, Steven Universe. I think he would like some of the music. Especially, um, the, the, the Bowie homage that, uh, Jermaine did from Flight of the Concords. I think he'd really like knowing that exists, but he's not a big feelings guy. So I don't think he would like Steven Universe. He's not a big wacky cartoon guy, so I don't think he'd like Adventure Time. But I, I know for a fact he'd like Over the Garden Wall. He likes spooky shit. Why does that place close at four? I don't even think I have anything to give. It's a holiday. It's a Monday. Uh, it's your wedding day. <clears throat> My wedding day is not until we pick. I guess it's been two hours. Oh, have we hit 30 likes? How many likes are we at? 33. 33? Maybe we should wait for 35? Who's to say? Uh. Does everyone remember to like? I found some wild fruits this morning. Take the cheese. Oh, this is exactly what I want to thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry, I don't have any left. Oh, you ate all your... Keep looking. I'm sure you'll find something. Are you... Is this flirting? What do you want me to... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, help. Help. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she's following me. Oh, it's it's happening. Is this happening here? Right now? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Wait, where are we going? Are we are we doing this? We Are we... Are, are we are, uh, okay. Okay. Wow, that was kind of exciting. You know, screw the seasons. I think I might actually watch um, Over the Garden Wall tomorrow once I'm caught up with Amphibia. can't talk to my boyfriend anymore because he, he operates under brunch hours what if someone what if someone gets hurt at dinner time 
He's so selfish. Excuse me, I burped. Um, can you make a poll? No. What? I have to do it? dismiss it yeah you could end the you can't make a new one though no it should be where you type in chat there's an emoji i can donate to myself which would really just i'd be just throwing money at youtube to take 30 percent, and then the government tax me on it um next to the emoji is a dollar next to the dollar should be the poll button you don't have that, have that no. the what what do i have to like do I have to baptize you or something? Like, why don't you have access to that? I don't know. That's annoying. <laughs> what if I was in the middle of a boss fight? What if I was gaming so hard that I couldn't change the poll? I guess then you'd have to wait. I guess. What did we... Where did the poll go? It doesn't usually give me the results. I dismissed it. There we go. So it looks like half of you are having chicken, 25% of you are having bread, and the rest of you are having fish. Okay, well, um, sorry to say this, the right answer was fish. Everybody else is permanently banned. All right. Boom. I have now asked my community. I'm trusting you guys with this too. Because here's the thing that will make me very unhappy. It's happened the last two times I've done polls. Where suddenly I get more votes in the polls than likes in the streams. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure you still have to be signed in to do polls. Which means you can also just drop a like to support me, the stream, the channel. It's just also a validating thing to see that people are hitting the like button. Click the wrong one. Sucks. I don't think you can undo it. Right? You can't just undo it. No. Oh, thank God. I can freaking take the stuff to the place. Got to drop off a sunflower and some orange wine. I wish I had cherries. We could drink some cherry wine and not have to take our clothes off to have a good time. Where's Ryan? Come on, baby. Won't you show some class? A new chick hatched. It looks odd. So chicken nuggets will be available at the ceremony. Oh, there we go. It looks like Sarah money.
poop. Little baby P is vegan. Oh, and it's a it's a demon chicken too. Oh, that's perfect. I guess that's what I meant by it looks odd. Bye, P is vegan. Feed the cow and the goat. I need to get piggies so I can have a goat and pig. Do I have to do something special for that? Can I get a piggy? Crap. Vegan. Locked for another hour. Bleeding. One of my animals are dying. Oh, yeah, this is the person who like takes like Monday or something randomly off, and it makes me angry. All right, we got twenty minutes to kill. Come on. Let me get No, get back to your fucking post. Oh, you let me in. Let me steal the boxers. Oh, this game is fucking god, I hate it. Ooh, I'm gonna burn all of Pelican Town to the ground. This is my Joker origin story. Oh no. We live in a society. I'm gonna really fuck with this town and be in a polyamorous wedding. I'm gonna marry everybody. Give me my orange. I want orange slices. I'm having a bad day. <laughs> I got Edge Boy. Ring the bell. P is vegan. <laughs> Chomps. And subscribe. The like is around here somewhere. So far, Dr. Boy is winning. And if I see more votes than likes on the stream, I'm vetoing the whole poll. Especially if it's by a wide margin like it has been in the past. Can't trust you guys. I didn't think I'd have to make rules like this and set boundaries, but here we are. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the lost and found. <laughs> I'm such a caffeine addict. It's like my crack. I love how people who've never tried crack say that things are just like crack. What should I say, Ryan? I don't know. Something from your world, Pam. Say it's like scrapbooking. Oh. It's kind of valid, though. <laughs> that joke's really dumb, but it's kind of valid. <laughs> I completed a bond bowl. Give me my present. Ooh, a seed maker. Good thing I already made two. Fuck, I already have one. This is the worst wedding ever. You know what they say, if there's pee on your wedding day, it's good luck. It's pee on your wedding night. Oh my god. P-E-A, the vegetable, okay? It's even worse. Get your head out of the gutter. What are you gonna do? Fix a fish's bloat? You know, guys, I, you you have to donate at least a dollar if you're gonna make a pee joke. I'm gonna get kicked off of YouTube today. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna spell it out. At least if I say pee, I could be talking about vegetables.
regular cheese. Do I need regular cheese for a thing? No. Into the vinegos. Okay, can I buy a freaking piggy now? No, you have to do it in the donation. You don't buy a ticket to use later. <laughs> you gotta make your pee jokes in the donations. Because then YouTube will go, well, we shouldn't... We made money off of this, so we're gonna let it slide. <laughs> They've done it before. Lady. Oh, I hate this fucking person. You, you run the only animal feed store. You can't just waddle off whenever the fuck you feel like it. What do you, migrate to fucking warm your egg? While Morgan Freeman narrates your life. No, you can't use the number three to censor P. Don't, don't, don't do that to my brand. Told you, man. Marnie is going to be responsible for my Joker origin. Right? Oh, my shoulders just completely cracked. That felt kind of amazing. How are my secret foods doing? Fine? Okay, cool. Are my melons ready yet? How many people have voted? Twelve. Twelve? How, uh, how many people? How many people are we hanging out with right now? Sixteen. Sixteen? Wow. Four people really don't believe in voting. Leave it up for a little bit. This stream's just been so relaxing. No one's bullied me. Uh, what am I doing? What's my end game here? Sunfish. I'm not. I suck at fishing. We're not doing that. Um. Twenty-five gold star vegetables. Next property. I guess I should be reading what he says. Care to buy anything? He said he's like too sensitive for sunlight, which, same. Sensitive little boy. Oh, right. That's what I was, I was trying to buy a fucking pig, but that lady's just like, nah, fuck animals. I don't care what happens to them. I'm here to adopt. I'm here to rescue a pig. Some people... Ooh, a trash acorn. You know what? This isn't very fun. Neither are you, stupid child. See what happens? What's the opposite of smile in the world? Smiles back. <laughs> Wasn't that... That was McDonald's, right? For a while, smile in the world smiles back. I think so. Yeah, because smiling was their big thing. Because they're like, we're killing you by not giving you real food or something that was once food that's pumped full of chemicals and everybody knows it smile before you die i think that is that but yeah i'm, I'm spreading i'm i'm being a grinch in the middle of summer that's the goal here oh hi I forgot that she's musically inclined. Hmm. 
<sighs> I come down here to think. This is um, this is what I want the camera crew to film about how interesting I am as a person. Although I should be fishing, because that's like the thing I've done the least of. I think Dr. Boy is still in the head in the pole. Sure is. That would be fun. And it would make my grandma happy. Ah! I think we'll give it a little bit longer. Because also I know you don't get married on the spot. It's like three days from now. But I can just, I can just sleep through it. And then I'll go get married. I don't want this stream to be crazy long. I'm still trying to also think of what the next game should be. I was thinking Psychonauts. Some people seem pretty on board for doing Kingdom Hearts. That'd be really cool. That would be really cool. And I know the Stanley Parables come into the PlayStation 4 at the end of the month. Not sponsored. I just... I've been interested in that game for a while. Sounds like it has interesting things going on while also giving me puzzles. The only thing that makes me nervous is like I don't want music to be a problem with Kingdom Hearts. I don't think you can, like, turn down the music volume on it at all, so I might be a little... I might just have to bite that bullet and hope I don't get in trouble or we raise the proper funds. That would be fun. I've played them, though. I don't know if that changes it, the vibe for anyone, but that would also be a fun way to see if people care about that. Because I wanted to just replay it, like the whole series. So that'd be fun to do. I've never seen you play the first two either. You've only seen me play a little bit of three, too. Yep. So that was... Oh, it was the Secret Boss in two. That's right. It was the Secret Boss in Birth by Sleep. Oh, that's right. I think. Is that where Dolan actually healed? No, that was the that was one, but I was doing it on like critical mode. That's right. Yeah. Donald actually healed me and I got so excited I think I woke you up. No, I was in the bathroom and I came running out. Oh yeah, because you thought I hurt myself or something. Yeah. There's a big bug. 
might be really fun to do Kingdom Hearts. Because there's a couple of games that, like, I'm just waiting for them to come out. Like, I want to check out the quarry. There's a couple of games where I'm like, I want to play this, but I'm not, play I'm not paying full price for it. And there have been a couple of games where I'm like, I should do some research on this because this sounds like it's an upsetting, heavy, or dark game. And I'm like, oh, I'm not doing that. Oh, Lindsay said it would also be fun to see you play something that you quote-unquote don't need help with and people don't lose themselves in the chat over it. That's very true. It'd be, like, more chill, I guess. Yeah, well, like I said, it would be a nice way to, to do kind of a trial of, like, well, how does it go when it's like, oh, I know what this is, as opposed yeah. to, like, in a sense, reacting to it, because that has been, I think, kind of frustrating, where it's like, you know, that's kind of the whole thing, is I, I'm sharing my first time doing this stuff, you know, talk about something, watching something, and then playing something, and sometimes I feel like there's an expectation of, I should know what everything means, where everything is, what to do, whatever and i'm like i've just been playing this game for like a couple of hours and if anything i should not toot my own horn but sometimes i feel like i should be praised that i'm you know getting this far into the game on my first try oh yeah the mario party game was a fun time oh shit i just died in the cave fuck oh. yeah mario party was fun mario party was fun i agree I just lost a bunch of stuff and money. Wow. It's fine. I don't care. I'm not materialistic. Switching your pockets, I have no idea how much money they took. Okay, so they didn't take my shit then? Shut up, Pierre. I don't give a fuck about you. Yeah, I guess my stuff wasn't really taken. That's good. That might just be after X number of times that you pass out in public. Been there. Which, it's a small town. I'm pretty sure I can just break everybody's kneecaps or threaten to and get my stuff back pretty quick. I've been watching too much Breaking Bad. A burglar shank? Did I get this from the burglar? Burgled my turds. Burgled my turds. I love that show. Silver diamond, silver crab. Got even more stone. I had a warp thing too, I just wasn't paying attention to the time. If you're best friends with the homeless guy, he saves you sometimes too. Really? That's really cool. I didn't know that. That's cool. I didn't know that either. Uh, I should probably put my seed maker. Still nothing, huh? Why did they look like bendy straws? <laughs> Zoom type. Thank you. Kingdom Hearts sounds like a really fun idea.
Oh, I guess I should go see if I can buy a pig now. Or if Her Royal Highness has closed her shop early again. Because it was open initially. She just went into her bedroom, like, right away. And then an hour later, she closed the whole shop. So, what, she only opened for, like, 20 minutes a day, five days a week? Oh, I need a deluxe barn. Fuck. Okay. Lovely. And I can't buy a freaking auto grabber because that would save me a lot of effort. Eh, damn it. Money doesn't work on Mondays and Tuesdays. Huh? The feed shop lady. Yeah, I'm saying that's annoying as hell. Especially like, I wish it was just easier to track because like the, the general store is closed on Wednesdays, so I guess that would help me remember just if all the stores were closed on Wednesdays, but whatever. I guess it's good that I can still trust them because I don't trust places that are closed on Sundays. Especially when it's food. Looks like I'm reaching in their butts. Okay, anyway. Heck yeah. Out of my relationships. Okay. No one has forgotten about me. I gave them a gift. No! Why do things keep dying? I do want to check out the quarry, but that's not until, like, June. Right. I need money! Uh... to cook do 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 what was that it was the breaking bad theme oh and then i'll come back and turn it off but you should have already gotten it oh now i get it the lightning is what's killing my crops What? Festus in here. Dude, if God wants to fight me in Stardew Valley, it's on in Stardew Valley. I'm not challenging any sort of higher being in real life. Fight me in Stardew Valley. The good lord wouldn't ruin the best game of my life. <laughs> no one's gonna get that. That's even older than me.
Boop. I really resent that whenever I find like a weapon I don't want to use, it's like impossible to sell it. I have to like go to the adventurer store or whatever the hell. I can't just drop it off in the mail and someone else sell it on whatever black market I'm funding with my random drop boxes. No. It's rude to ask a gamer their age when it's not an adult. <laughs> Oh, right, I need to... I think there was something that needed an apple, right? I have one now. Oh, I need three apples at once? I can't just drop one off at daycare? Great, okay. You know what? We live in a society... Hmm. Fuck. Another reason why I don't like fishing is in streams. It just feels really boring. We punch that fish. Oh god, come back. Nope. Cool car impression. Uh, I was the car in cars, so show some goddamn respect. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, no, stop. Stop moving. Oh, my. Just, ah, uh, fucking. I'm going to piss in this lake. I'm going to pollute it. I'm going to drink it. I'll drink the lake. We. Bullhead. That's not exciting. Light build the queen. Per like and subscribe. Oh, cool. I got fishing accessories. <laughs> no, stop. I... I Huh, that one's called Chub. I said that one's called Chub. There we go. Ah, validation. Unprompted validation. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Hudson Hornet smash attack. <laughs> Is that gonna be my fucking <laughs> next video? <laughs> Rip off Markiplier, but do it on like Pixar characters or something? No, just all the cars from Colors. Oh my god, done. <laughs> Don't tempt me, I might actually do that. Which one's the Hudson Hornet? That's the previous Piston Cup winner. <laughs> right? I've only seen those movies once a piece, and they're a rough watch, because those movies are awful. There's no other valid opinion other than the Cars movies are bad. Um... He was, yeah, I think so. But... He's the Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Yeah, smash. <laughs> I 
Everyone got that one for free. Get to planes? I'm not watching planes. <laughs> It's always such a hard thing for me where it's like, should I, at the risk of people getting angry, should I capitalize on a video idea that I think is interesting that I can put like sort of a spin on or just do for fun? Because I really wanted to do the Pokemon Smasher Pass like really bad. I can tell my dad had to go into surgery. I was thinking about doing that as a stream on the main channel for my birthday back in March. That's so good. It was so funny. Just the concept alone. I haven't watched the video. Fuck these fish. Yeah, everyone's proven in every video in the comment section. Nobody's really prepared for me to do a video about something I really don't like. Because, like, I don't think anything ever is perfect. I'm much more enthusiastic about things I like, even if I don't like a project. I'd rather talk about the things I like or try to understand why someone else might like something that I don't like. But I've never done a video about something that, like, I just, I flat out, like, it would not be a constructive conversation. I would try my hardest to have one with you. It would not be a constructive conversation to have with me. Uh, the most, the subject I brought up the most is Twilight. That's one where I'm just, like, a diehard, like, I... Mine is actually reading the books. I've read the first two, I think. At least one. Um, I might have stopped halfway through the second one. I don't remember. But mine is reading all the books. Like, I, I come at it from a place of knowledge, as well as a place of understanding of, like, nostalgia and all those other factors, because there's a ton of things that I like that I, I know for a fact are, like, stupid or there's something problematic that is direct or can be taken away from something and i just don't see it or i didn't see it at the time so that nostalgia kind of stays some things sometimes that nostalgia doesn't stay and it sucks but i i can't sit there and be like oh man like i let me try to understand why somebody else likes this like i i could challenge myself to try cars is right up there with twilight where i'm like i can't i can't find joy in this i from the first time I saw a trailer for it when I was in, I think, early high school. What year did Cars come out? Uh... Like, before, like, when it was just a trailer of, like, talking cars with eyes, I went, you're just trying to sell fucking Hot Wheels. 2005 or 2006, yeah. Yeah, I was too young to have that thought, in my opinion. Like, I, I don't think capitalism really revealed itself to me yet. Too young being from my perspective, I don't need a million comments going, well, I'm 12 and I know what capitalism is. I'm talking about my lens, not yours. I can't be you. I can only be me. Um, but I remember seeing the trailer for it and being like, you're just trying to sell your own Hot Wheels. And it, it wasn't like I thought about that later in life. You know what I mean? But like I, I I tried watching them. Like Mike and I did that before he moved. We we set aside some time, if not every other day, like a couple times a week to like watch some movies together and stuff, because we like watching movies together as well as playing games. And we're like, oh man, we should try to watch all the Pixar movies. And Mike was like, including cars, and I'm like, I guess. So we watched the Cars trilogy, and holy fuck. Like that was rough. That was a hard sit. Like, I could at least watch, like, other things that I just don't care for in that realm of, like, Pixar projects and just be like, okay, like, there's still, like, jokes in here that are fun or an interesting character or, like, oh, I wonder what the government would do to try to, you know, control superheroes in a pre-Avenger storytelling world. Like, there's still things that I can like about stuff. You know what I mean? I, I couldn't. I couldn't even down to the quote-unquote lesson is awful to me 
the soundtrack is awesome though. For one reason and one reason alone. Comparing roads to life. Or because life is a highway? Yeah. And again, I've also only seen it once. So who knows? Maybe there's like a, a really deep an analogy in there that I just, I can't fully appreciate because I've only seen it once and it wasn't a good time for anybody involved. Oh, Holy shit, involved. I hated those movies. And we watched all three. I'm like, oh man, like a lot of people like this. Like I, 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 I can't wait to get to the part where I like it too. The deeper not... meaning uh, involves a special tag on Reddit. <laughs> Is this the part of Reddit where Mario and Sonic make out on top of Lightning McQueen and he watches? Mm, yes. <laughs> well, even down to like the. Not to go fast. Like, it's nice. Uh, even down to like, you know, trying to get behind the, oh man, like, capitalism bad, trying to, you know, I guess in a sense, maybe not gentrify, but take over a small little highway town in the middle of nowhere. But it reads as like, no, you need to stay here. Fuck your big city dreams. It's like Wizard of Oz. There's no place like home. Stay here. Winning isn't everything. Stay, stay at home in your little town and procreate. That was the get. That was the takeaway I took from the Cars movie. <laughs> I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why. I just sat there and I'm like, fuck you. I'm not staying in my fucking cow town. Aren't there spies in the second one or something? The second one is spies. Correct. <laughs> that one has no meaning. That one has no meaning. The moral of Cars 2 is get her done. I accidentally met Rascal Flats. You know? <laughs> Good job. Thanks. It's just, that's my Rascal story. Flats is a very lucky band to have accidentally been met by you. Aw. Yeah, Cars, Cars sucks. Cars is bad. At least the good dinosaur was trying to do something. And the cars don't even kiss. They kind of kiss. They like car nuzzle, right? Like they touch bumpers. Yeah. They like tit tap. <laughs> TM. I came up with that. If the lesbians want that. They need to fucking fight me for it. Tit tap. It's when, it's when you, you tap your tits together. Where do where do the cars come from? Because don't they have like a throwaway joke about like a baby car in a hospital or something? So they fuck. Spy Kids is not about accepting yourself. It's about, it's about you'll find success if you have a family legacy to fall back on. Yeah, generational wealth will save you. Yeah, it's generational wealth exactly. No matter how bad you are at the monkey bars. <laughs> uh, you're right. The first Spy Kids does try to have a message though with um, what's his name, Megan Trainer's husband. Junie. From Thank Spy you. Kids. <laughs> Fucking goddamn Junie from Spy Kids. Oh man. I've been trying to pick my melons. Nothing's happening. Do not backseat game, especially in one that I'm good at, like Stardew Goddamn Valley. I'm the master. You see these batteries? You couldn't make these batteries. You couldn't make these batteries. We live in a society. No, I've been checking. Don't worry. You're bad indeed. Isn't that from Zoolander? I think so. With the, the foam and the latte. It's like, my bad. You're bad indeed. Yeah. I, I know Will Ferrell says that at some point. He 
You're a consumer. You guys can't talk. I, maybe Spy Kids has to be on that list for me too. The food in Spy Kids is legendary. You're just, you're just, it's corporate. Don't let the corporations take over your brain. That was just McDonald's okay, in a capsule. But right? the uh, colorful band-aids, I always wanted to eat them because they look like the gum, like the ouch gum. You never had colorful band-aids as a kid? No, we were poor. <laughs> no, we got them from the school nurse. They were always like highlighter. Oh no, we had the um, really plasticky, nasty band-aids that like crinkled from your... They are not walking hands, they're walking thumb combinations. There's no hand. Yeah, nobody has to Guys, if we're not going to be adults about it, we can't talk about Spy Kids. <laughs> He did have gum, though. It's like zappy gum. Because, you know, shock therapy. It's a metaphor. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the second. <laughs> Spy Kids is just more corporate filth. Boots is the bad. You say pus? Yeah. Puss. <laughs> you can't say pus in boots. That's gross. <laughs> that really is an infection. <laughs> I feel so bad for your pussy. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? If you really? That's fucking gross. <laughs> you, think you need to go lay down and think about what you've done. I just remember, like, I just remembered one thing about Spy Kids that's good that keeps me from hating it. And that's Danny Trejo. Because I was about to go on another rant about the the consumeristic qualities of Spy Kids because of the watch thing, and then I'm like, wait a minute. I remember the sound of his voice saying that there's so many things in this watch they forgot to put in the watch. It does everything but tell time. The man's a legend. And his job was to support the children, not turn them into killers. There it is. I'm like, hold on, I need to put this on. What is this? A sturgeon? Witchy and Dad are tied. Or Witchy and Doctor are tied. Witchy and Doctor Boy are tied? No. Doctor Boy is still only, but I thought I'd like to, you know. You wanted to lie to me? Yeah. Oh my god, nobody is tied. No, it's very clear. It's 19% Witchy, 29% Leah, and 52% Doctor Boy. Okay, if anybody wants to uh, rig this election and buy it, now would be the time to try that. <laughs> <sighs> the second one was bad. Don't. Now everyone started to talk about the fucking 30 giggles and all that shit. And <laughs> wasn't fucking Ryan from High School Musical the brother of the blonde kids? talk about your critical race theory. I'm kidding. Um, right? There was like two blonde kids and wasn't the brother right? I don't know. 
fucking look that shit up. Was it fucking Food Boy or not? Right? Was that that was the that was the Disney movie he did before High School Musical? He was, it was like Food Boy or something like that. It was a movie that he did. Was it Ryan from High School Musical, the brother? You have to do the weird laugh. No, I don't think so. Not from what I can see, but I could be wrong. I remember recognizing one of the kid actors. Am I nuts? Elijah Wood was in Spy Kids 3. Yeah, he was the guy. God. Sometimes. I've only seen it once. I only remember it because my um my friend's mom took us to go see Spy Kids 3D and um when Elijah Wood showed up she went oh like audibly she loves Elijah Wood I think still to this day and no that's Matt O'Leary as Gary Giggles not damn are you sure yes. was he in Spy Kids at all no fuck well now I hate it again more Really? He's not in any of them? No. Fuck. I can see that kid. As the dude from High School Musical. As Food Boy or whatever the fuck <laughs> that other project was. <sighs> but I can still give everybody a present. Mike Judge is in Spy Kids 1. As what? The thumb? Who was Mike Judge? Donegan. Right, because that fucking means something. So, an adult. <laughs> well, yeah. Now the melons are ready. No, you don't get to give me advice on melons. Like I don't know when they're ripe. I've been I've been squeezing melons since before I was born. I invented melons. What was the fucking thing that I decided that I've named because I thought of it off the top of my head? Titty tapping? Yeah. <laughs> better not see no fucking viral TikTok where it's like, hey. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend when we titty tap. That's mine. Aaron got us a sticker. Oh, thank you, Aaron. For the... Oh, I went away. 
Thank you for the donation, Aaron. I just submitted my final paper for my undergrad thesis project I've been working on for eight months. Thanks for keeping me company while I edited. That's awesome. For your what? Your undergrad? Yeah. That's undergrad dope. Project. Sending you good thoughts on that. Thanks for hanging out. I don't know. Keeping company alongside us. I'm just from the school of, of hard gaming. Thank you, Aaron. They got another donate. What happened? What? Why? What's going on? Oh, is it like limiting people again or something? Yeah. That's weird. Congratulations, Aaron. I hope. I don't know how that stuff works off the top of my head. You said undergrad. I'm trying to. I'm trying to decode this. I can't focus right now. Yeah. Undergrad. Undergrad. I hope it goes well. And Emma's working on her grad thesis. That's really cool. And if you're talking to your sister, it's just the sis. <laughs> Are you making a joke? Yeah, because the way she says this. Keep, keep workshopping that one. Uh, will do. Thanks so much. Thank you. I know a little something about funny comedy, little lady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, do you? You <laughs> should know by the way you look, Spy Kids. I feel like I, there was something I wanted to do with the melons. I'm making jam out of them. Got starfruit wine, starfruit jam. Fried starfruit. Starfruit sandwiches, starfruit stew, starfruit valley. Thought I had a plan for these, but I guess I just needed money. We live in a society. I gotta buy a fuck ton of corn now. You put them in a stew. That's a Lord of the Rings. Squash him, squish him, stick him in a stew. Give me a bunch of corn. And do not make fucking eye contact with me. All right, I wanted to give everybody one last, one last present at some point. It's kind of their, uh, like I thought everything. I thought I was gonna be picked, and then he like that kind of vibe. I kind of want that. I love this. You're the best, Bill. Talk to me. You ever get lonely on your farm? She just wants to fuck. That's all she's been talking. Aren't you lonely? And she's also like, I, I can't tell if she's trying to like use me to get out of her parents' house. Or if like, you know, this fedora, and this beard, and the fact that I'll talk over her when she tries to say something about Marvel movies or comic book movies in general. One of those things is, is turning her on, or she just wants out of her parents' house. Oh, see? Now, Dr. Boyce is in the lead with 33%. Hootie Statue Carver surprisingly took second. Yeah, I think, from the sound of things, a lot of people just always go for Abigail, from what I've seen people's messages in chat on the subject. It's like, oh, I always, like, I, I, I picked Abigail or something. Like, I've seen that more often than not. So maybe people just want something a little different. Cause I know I know when you marry somebody you get like a unique interaction of some kind. I know that. 
I don't know what they are. Boop. Boop. Plant the seeds, he who walks between the rows. Ooh, I got some clay. I can make a dreidel. Oh, let's go. We almost have enough to get messages from aliens. Boop, 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 boop. I guess. So it's, yeah, I'm being smart. I thought for a minute I was in fall for some reason. I was about to lose all this. I'm like, oh, did I do bad? I'm great. Amazing. Why do I doubt myself on this? Amazing. Uh, I have five seeds left. That's going to make me itchy. How are my inside pets doing? Okay. Can't let the cops see my greenhouse full of star fruit that I'm growing out of season. Next to ancient fruit that could definitely destroy the ecosystem. Um... No, I'm not murdering animals for fun or glory. We only do it to survive. No, give him the coffee. For me, this is my favorite stuff. I remember. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. This stuff can definitely be incorporated into a healthy diet. This stuff can de Can you, like, allude to what? Am I nothing to you? It's like, you won't even treat me like a man. Are you ashamed because we're in public? Is that it? Is it the fedora? Is it not big enough? Does my beard go too high over my lips? There's nothing in here. Why is there a question mark over this? He wants everybody to be healthy. He's a fucking doctor. It depends. Well, he's a, he's a real, he's a good doctor. He's a kind doctor. I get it. We live in a society. Oh, you motherfucker sitting there telling me, oh, you'll get a lot more money if you marry the doctor. You're going to sit here and tell me like, oh, yeah, he's a good man. He cares about me, but uh, like, but not in the, uh, the right physical sense. Sometimes I want to be embraced like I'm on the cover of a fucking book. All right. Take this cheese. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Hello, Bill. Do you ever get lonely on that big farm? See, but, and all the ladies want to do is just bone me, and all the fellas want to do is just make sure I'm healthy. Stop by my cabin if you ever need someone to talk to. Yo. What? Done. Both of, both of these gals are thirsty as fuck. And then my dude's just like, you could drink some coffee. It's actually kind of healthy for you. Sometimes I like to sit. Well, see ya. Just want him to notice me. All right, it's time. It's like 10 yeah. 15. <laughs> it's like, my gosh, I think I, we do have to... Uh... Yeah, we got shit to do tomorrow. So we got stuff to do tonight. Yeah, we gotta finish Breaking Bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Where'd he go? 
son of a bitch. I can't even see him until tomorrow. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. No, I'm kidding. Want to go on record that I also just realized I'm about to make a lot of fucking money. I don't think two wealthy people should be getting together. I think we need to be spreading the class around. Wealthy people should be meeting and schmoozing fucking poor people and we can share the wealth this way. Hey. Who said I looked up Stardew Lives and found this? So yay, I love Stardew. Yay! There's a bunch of those on the channel, so please enjoy. I'm getting married. Unrelated to stream. Getting married. <sighs> it's like the only positive thing I can say about um about fucking Fifty Shades of Grey is uh, uh, when someone pitched the concept to me, I'm like, well, at least at least someone's getting cinderella up into the world. That should be happening more. <laughs> Spread that wealth around. Her student debt gets paid. Oh my god, I have to wait until 9 for real? What if I have a fucking heart attack? I God, this game... This game really, really, really likes to mess with me. You know what? Next person I see, I'm getting married. What's up? God. At least we can always have brunch because he's closed at three. Boom. I accept. You goddamn right you accept. That wasn't even an issue. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? All right. Oh my goodness, I have so much to prepare to prepare before the wedding. I'm nervous. I'll be relieved after we're all settled in on your farm. Oh, see, I wanted to move into your small apartment above the hospital. Oh, we can kiss! I got a kiss! Uh, it's my fault for taking too long. <laughs> Blam. Great. He's going to make me get rid of my mini fridge by the bed.
<sighs> My shit ready to pick yet? No. What's this? I need truffle oil. Fuck you, you perv. The mayor's a fucking deviant. Oh, I my my chicken is mad at me. What are you jealous? Oh, okay, you don't have food. Give me your old gonzo vibes. If anyone if anyone objects to this union, speak now if I ever hold your peace. <laughs> Like and subscribe, both of you. <laughs> Things won't change. I already promised you that. You just have a new second dad. <laughs> Go to row one. Should we wait until 9 a.m.? All right, nothing to pick in the greenhouse. Get the free feed. All right, don't forget, we are registered to take green donations in the wedding registry. We're selling eggs to pay for this wedding. Boop, boop, boop. Ew, are we getting married on a Tuesday? It's fucking inconsiderate. I guess we're also closing the only doctor's office slash hospital in town for this wedding. I mean, there's a bigger chance for needing a doctor on a Saturday than a Tuesday. Because one's a weekend and one's definitely not a weekend. What if there's something happens? But it's my day. Pick the corn. I'm not throwing away money as I time travel to our wedding day. I don't like that the chicken stops moving every time I pick something up. It's like it's up to something. <laughs> Mary on a Tuesday, that's inconsiderate. Brad, did you not see the catering? <laughs> uh, I think it's inconsiderate to expect me to cater to your food lifestyle. Bring your own fucking food. How about that? Bring your own plate while you're at it. Inconsiderate. I get I jokes aside, I do argue it's inconsiderate to to hound somebody about your dietary restrictions. I, I guess a medical thing is a medical thing, but like holy damn. Even a fake one everybody was complaining about, about it. You may help yourself to one rotten piece of fruit from the harvest. Yeah, eat some fucking corn and leave me be. No, fuck you, I'm selling this corn. No, I'm saying eat beforehand if you have a problem with the menu. Nothing's stopping you from going to freaking McDonald's or some shit on the way. Yeah, and all the vegetables are cooked in butter, so good luck. Yeah, have fun. They're not cooked in butter. What are you talking about? At McDonald's? First off, what vegetables? Oh, I meant in general. Oh, all vegetables. Yay! I don't get a tuck. Oh, shit, I'm still wearing the fedora. Oh, no. When Bill first arrived in Pelican Town, no one knew if he'd fit in with our community. What with his face piercing and his ooh, vibes and talking about gay cartoon storytelling. Yeah, Mayor Lewis is one of those animation is a genre kind of fucks. Um, but from this day forward, Bill is going to be as much a part of this town as any of us. Honestly, we were about to run him out of here with torches and pitchforks until he finally married one of our own. It is my great honor on this day, 23 of summer, to unite Bill and Harvey in the bonds of marriage. Man, I really want to see Abigail and Leah or whatever character also loves you, like, weeping. That'd be fun. Well, let's get right to it. Touch tongues. Bill <laughs> Harvey... As the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the matrimonial seal. I pictured, or, or, I pictured an animal. 
I now pronounce you husband and... Well, husband, can you believe it? Did we... Partners, just say partners. Receive the kiss. That's what I say when I'm the officiant. You may kiss as a sign of your love. Go on and kiss. What happened? Did everyone come into the sky? What's happened? What is that? Is it paper? Are you littering? Life is going to be different from now on. But the future looks bright. Or, sorry, it's an anime now. Life's going to look different from now on. But the future is bright. I'm working on that. The side hustle I'm trying to get into. I invented anime. That was nice. Did no one send me a wedding? Oh my god, he's hiding behind the bear statue. I just saw him. The wedding was wonderful, wasn't it, dear? Well, we can't forget about the farm. Time to get to work. Wait, are you quitting medicine? I'm gonna divorce you if you're gonna quit medicine. Kiss. Looks like I censored it. We're gonna move the bear. Put you... Put you back here. Nope. Put it back there. Ugh, my life's already different forever because of you. Now the bear protects my weed farm. Ha-ha! Everybody say gay in chat. Why did we get two Fs and then a gay? Because it was horrible timing. Somebody else called for an F in the chat for Leah and Abigail. <laughs> They're not dead. There's more to life than a romantic relationship. And in my book... <laughs> you just gonna watch me pluck the star fruit? Fucking homophobes ruin everything. You have no idea how in my head I've been about someone fucking uh, taking it in a don't say gay way that I say vibes. Because I, it's the internet. I do my best to navigate it in, in, in as much of a tolerant, understanding way as I can. I, I think that would be my limit if someone tried to warp yes vibes into so he won't say gay is supposed to mean something. Like, I think I'd come unfucking glued. So, in the spirit of fucking ignoring the phobes, everybody drop a gay in the chat. It's a pow poo fruit. Oh, yeah, I also just don't give him fucking presents. Fuck. Did I don't get any of his money or anything? Do my bills get cheaper? I don't pay bills in this world, which is nice. Not the flex. Pretty sure my federal taxes are paid in fruit. He's just standing outside. You shouldn't be picking up the gays either. They can walk just fine. <laughs> so I don't want to drop a gay. What if they get hurt? Consent is key. Sunflower seeds, please. Did it hurt when I dropped you when I dropped you in the chat with the heart and a rainbow flag?
Fuck yeah, I got more stars. Uh my pow poo fruits. God, this is so mesmerizing. Fuck. Okay. That's you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I wanted to leave those there. This is a warning to fend off for potential predators. One Palpu seed? Fuck, okay, well. That's future me's problem to deal with. We gotta <laughs> we gotta go soon. <laughs> Got married, give me a kiss. Whoa! Ooh! Oh, oh my god, are we making meth in here? Babe. He's such a he's got like Legos over here and then like fucking like drug balloons and a meth lab and then a picture of a plane. Well this is it. This is our lives. Ooh, I can invade his space. No, don't fish in your house. You fucking idiot. No, just Pick up. I don't give a fuck. You know what? I wanted to. I wanted to. No, not the bed. No, we need to kiss there. There we go. Just gonna move the fridge and be virtually polite to him. Um. Ooh, you know what? I'll stick it in the greenhouse. No, I can't. Uh, what am I supposed to do with a second fridge? I'm not putting it outside. I'm not fucking trash. If you get a fish tank, you can put half on a sea urchin? You can put a hat on a sea urchin? You know what? I'm going to put the fridge in the fridge. I still have to get a bigger house at some point. There. Fridgeception. That's fun. We're having fun. Boom. Uh, pretty sure those papu fruits just paid for the wedding. Ugh. All right. We did it. I was hoping it'd be a little bigger than that, but we did it. Got married. Oh, my back. <clears throat> I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. We did it. We finally got married. Um, hope you enjoyed. Holy crap, this is basically almost as long as any other stream. Yeah, it was a fun there. one, though. Yeah. Ugh. Holy crap. Thanks for hanging out. I hope everyone's doing good. I hope y'all enjoyed. 
Um, whether you're watching this uh, live with me in chat, thanks for hanging out. If you're watching this in the future, hello from the past. Pulling up the donos to say thank you. There should be an easier way to do this. Ba -ba. But there we go. We married a doctor. And no, I'm not going to tell my grandma because she'll just be confused. She doesn't understand bits. Right? Is this? Yeah. Ba -na -na -na. Thank you as always for hanging out, guys. Thank you as always for hanging out, guys. I hope you had fun. Um, not sure what it'll be, but we should be back on Thursday. Um, sorry there wasn't a stream last Thursday. Just had a lot of technical difficulties and some other things just kind of going on and kind of needed to just take the L on that one. Um, but hope you check out uh, another stream, another video, another time. Um, the streams stay up, so if you want to... I saw some new people hanging out, so... Go check out old games. See what you missed if you want to. Um, thank you again to those who uh, donated. Um, thank you, Lily. Thank you, Haley. Thank you, Robeson. Thank you, R.A., Lindsay, Dylan. <laughs> M-Hags Art. Dylan again. Lily again. Robeson. Lindsay. Aaron. Aaron. Uh, we. Yeah, now suddenly it took me back to the beginning of the month which is still cool thank you everyone who uh who uh donates if you don't want to or are unable to donate um watch time is a big way to help sharing liking videos and streams here and on the main channel subscribing ringing the bell putting the settings to all so you're notified of all the times i go live or i upload um those are big ways to help following me on social media um, at third bill is generally the handle for most social media things. Um, but, uh, you know, I appreciate those who, who uh, choose to donate and can, um, but I appreciate everybody, uh, equally. Like I said, there's so many ways to support. Thank you for doing those things. Um, thank you, Alana, for modding. Um, God, I am, it's always like right as we're hitting the end of these, I get so tired. Um, don't know when we'll pick up Stardew again, but we will. I want to get my boys a bigger house since we have two fridges. Um, and yeah, I don't know what the next goal will be after this. I guess we're still trying to get the, the rec center up and completed. Um, but yeah, I think, um, you guys have given me a lot of things to think about, like doing, uh, uh, a replay series um doing like the full games but like sporadically over the year doing uh kingdom hearts would be fun um while i wait for some of the games that i want to play to drop um that would be really fun i also want to do uh something spooky soon a puzzle game maybe here and there um but uh Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I hope you had fun. I had fun. It's always nice to joke around and hang out. And I appreciate everybody who's uh, helping me get closer and closer to my my goal, my dream. You know, trying to make this thing make sense and sustainable, so I could do it more and do it all the time. Um, but yeah, just like always, guys. Uh, every video, every stream that I do, there's a link in the description. Uh, for a card that'll send you resources for um, social awareness and education, mental health, crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them, um, you know it's it's always important stuff. I always do my best to try to remind everybody of that. Um, I hope everyone's doing okay. I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, like I said, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for um. 
thank you the donations thank you for clicking the the buttons and doing all the stuff to support me whether you can or want to donate or not like i said there's a lot of free fast and easy ways to do it i appreciate all those it's um not only is it helpful but it also helps me gauge you know do i do more stardew do i move on to something else it's kind of how i've had to operate on the main channel as well you know views comments sharing you know sharing on social media all that stuff anything to help get the algorithm to like the videos and everything instead of i, I get a lot of especially lately i've been getting a lot of uh complaints for lack of a better word about why aren't you doing this right now or that right now and it's like well i kind of have to change how i do something or take a break from something or swap up the format um when it's not getting a lot of views you know so don't forget that watch time is very important sharing liking all that stuff um thank you to those who do it i appreciate it um got more owl house coming up um i've got uh now that I've gotten everything working again, um, I'm just going to keep working on a, just, I guess, a season three video for Amphibia since, again, if no one's really watching it. All the comments seem to be negative either at me or people are fighting in the comment section. It's not getting a lot of views, not a lot of positivity. People are unsubscribing when I upload Amphibia videos, so I'm like, okay, then I'll just do a big one later. Um, so just keep that in mind for everybody. Um, and I'm working on some other things too, but like, like I said, music's been kind of hard lately and just trying to keep up with everything. I know I'm not I'm usually a vocal in one spot, but not all spots. Like I'll say something on Twitter and then feel like I've said it enough and not talk about it in a video or not say it in a stream or not make a community post. It's hard. I feel it's cause in my mind, I am repeating myself instead of getting the message out or an update out on every platform that I can. Um, I'm trying to work on that, but, uh, just a lot of stuff going on. I appreciate those who are patient, kind, and, you know, factually supportive. Um, when I slow down or have to shift focus or shift gears for a while or something, um, I just appreciate that because it's, it's not fun to be hit with a lot of negativity or hostility or whatnot. So just remember that you know, there's tons of ways to be positive and support me or any uh, entertainer or creator. Um, and I thank you for those things. You know, it's, it's, um, it's always so strange. You know, it, I know sometimes it's hard to remember, you know, you're still kind of talking to a person or like, there's no way he's like, it's a lot of times someone will like leave a comment and I'm like, I don't understand this. Like, do you mind? clarifying it if i gave off a weird impression or something and then they're like i didn't think you'd see this i'm sorry and it's like i i, I checked the comments like i'm fairly active so just you know be mindful be kind it goes for other people as well as me and i think those people i think those people who do so and i hope those who aren't um get the memo in as polite a way as possible i appreciate it yeah. it's been a weird time and those are weird problems to have and i i appreciate having those problems you know but um you know i don't know i i, I can't think of fun interesting ways to say like click on stuff otherwise i have to spend less time making content more time you know making money for food in other ways you know um but I, I appreciate those sticking out, sticking around, hearing on the main channel. Um, you know, I'm just one person doing all this stuff. A lot of this helped me mod, but I'm the editor. I make thumbnails. I'm the one filming everything, setting everything up. Um, it's funny. I've seen some people be like, you and your team need to, and I'm like, team. No, 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 no. It's just me. Um, again, I get that because of this platform and other channels. I understand that's true for other people, but it's just like, <laughs> I wish maybe one day, but point is I'm doing my best. I'm not going to get to everything. I'm not going to be able to do everything. I appreciate when people are 
um, patient. Is that that is a way of su supporting? So uh, it's weird. Whenever I thank the people for donating, I also want to thank the people um, in other ways, just to reaffirm. There's more than one way to support me because I don't want people to feel bad who can't donate or just frankly choose not to. Um, watch time, clicking on things, likes. You know, it's it's not. I don't like having to say it at the beginning and end of everything, but those are very important things. So thank you for doing those things. And just a reminder to keep doing those things. It'll get more videos on a topic or, you know, turn a video into a series or get a follow-up video or do a game or a game similar to that or a show similar to that or a song or an artist or something. You know, it's like, that's the way to do it. <clears throat> so I, I appreciate those who are doing that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Follow me on social media. I'm trying. I'm I'm trying. I'm, I'm spy kids. I'm trying. I'm trying to plug all this stupid shit. I feel like it goes without saying, and it feels so redundant to remind people of all this. But like, even today in the chat, people were like, "I don't know." YouTube took a cut of donations. It's like, yeah, they do. You know. Um. So it's just reminding people that's, that's what you got to do, I guess. Um, if I feel like I don't need to remind people, I will stop reminding everybody. But I hope you guys still enjoyed. hope you guys still had fun. Um, it's been nice seeing more people starting to show up in the streams and stuff. I don't know if it's the time of year, the games I'm playing, what. But that's been really exciting. And I, I appreciate um, the, the regulars showing the new people around everybody being nice um welcoming i want to keep growing a safe space for as 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 many people as i possibly can you know within within reason you know obviously not every game i'm gonna play is rated e, rated e for everyone with the nicest of of vibes at every second you know not every joke i make or comment i make is gonna read great for everybody but i always try my best and I appreciate when I look over at chat, I don't see people arguing over, you know, which which pride flag is the best pride flag or some stupid shit like that. Like it's just about spy kids. It's now. just about spy kids and how you're all wrong and I'm right. Um, but no, for real, I appreciate that because nothing nothing makes me more sick to my stomach more than that kind of vibe and rhetoric or whatever the hell, you know. Or someone popping in going like, you know, who saw insert <laughs> insert intellectual property series franchise edition that was um latest installment dropped over the weekend? Who wants to talk about that at nauseum? I also appreciate that no one brought that up. But um I just appreciate that. I I I'm grateful looking over and seeing everybody having a good time and no one's no one's boxing each other out you know it's like i said the goal is comfortability as much of it as i can give uh, to as many people as possible i know i it, it's impossible to 100 percent all the time for everybody but that's always the goal as much as i can um and then I appreciated seeing there was more people than usual the last couple of streams and nobody was like, ew, gross, why, bleh, why you buried a boy, bleh. That makes me feel better. So that's a hard thing for me. Um, because of bullying and shit like that, but also, like, I didn't see anybody being stupid in chat, so thank you. Um, let's keep that trend going, shall we? Because nothing's more disheartening than having to block somebody because they're like ew gross they them pronouns in a especially in a fucking owl house video it's like oh you mm. person's person can comment all they want no one will see it but um they've been they've been muted but shit like that popping up and i'm like i it makes me a little nervous that then someone's gonna be that way in chat or that person's gonna pop into chat and be like the 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 yeah, pronouns. We have millions of different names for people, but we, we're only going to have two pronouns. That's We're going to limit ourselves as a species to make other people uncomfortable. I was a little nervous about that. and Everybody stayed stayed good people from what I saw. Um, so I just want to say thank you for that. 
you know. I'd rather somebody click away from my video going, this guy's an idiot, than click away from my video going like, the chat and the comments are really fucking rude. You know what I mean? Or shitty to insert marginalized group here. So I just want to say I appreciate that. I had to take down a couple of really fucked up things recently. And it was nice not having to deal with that live. Or at least I didn't see it live. I, I, didn't, I didn't get a... I didn't get the secret signal from Alana that something bad's happening, so um, I just want to say I appreciate that. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, like I said, uh, resource in the description. All that good stuff. Um, just like always. And it, you know, means a lot to me to just casually do uh content like this or make that choice to not feel like you know i kind of brought it up earlier but it's not like haha musicals haha you're a soft or emotional boy you clearly must i don't want to hear any of that shit i didn't see any of that shit you can you can be more with withheld in your emotions and you know feel any kind of way about any kind of person you know it's like i i don't like those weird stereotype things being thrown at me um obviously before this but especially when i make content and stuff um because it does it sometimes I, it does make me hesitate because it's it's a it's a vulnerable feeling for me because i'm just waiting for someone to shit on me dunk on me or insult me or somebody else or you know what i mean and i kind of got a little stressed about that here and there but those those feelings are pretty brief, but I appreciate that because that, that safe feeling kind of goes both ways, you know? Um, it's probably as much as I'm going to talk about it, at least for now. I don't know. But point is, I didn't feel bullied. I didn't see anybody else getting shit on or bullied. That makes me very happy. Let's keep doing that. Because I don't know. I... I feel like a majority of the time I've spent on this planet, somebody in my vicinity would have had something really harmful or hateful to say at my expense or at somebody else's expense or at the expense of a, an experience, you know? And, um like to keep that going too because i like to keep that feeling going of like you know oh cool like it wasn't wasn't a bit you know i just want to say thank you for that it's like i said like i i, I kind of got a little nervous going into this where someone's gonna be like haha like because like i said anything from like oh because he's emotional so obviously boys and boys no i'm not you know stick around for that or also, you know, oh, good, blah, 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 blah. like I, I just I appreciate that. Uh, a lot of shit going on, a lot of ugly things. God, my my Twitter algorithm algorithm really likes to push the. Can you believe someone said this awful homophobic thing? And it's like, I really don't want to see the headline of this article. Thank you, Human Rights Campaign, for talking about it. I don't want to see this. I'm very aware that there's homophobic shit going on. This feels very relentless. As well as everything else that's going on in the world. So I um, just want to say thank you for that. Um, thank you again, Alana, for modding. Thank you yeah. again. Those who donated, um, that stuff does. It goes to bills. It goes to bills, bills. It goes to paying for games. And uh, I appreciate that a lot. It keeps this stuff going. Um, and uh, like I said, Watch time, likes, clicking on things, sharing, following me on social media, making sure the bell is rung so you know all the times that I post polls as well as stream announcements on the community tab um, or a new thing or whatever drops here and on the main channel. That stuff helps a lot too. So be sure to do those things. Um, let's keep the, keep the train going forward, keep the stuff growing and expanding. Um, yeah, like I said, we should be back Thursday. Same time. Uh, not sure with what, though. Um, 
I haven't quite decided that yet. But uh, like I said, as long as people still seem into these interim Stardew streams, we'll keep doing them. This one was really fun. I appreciate everybody hanging out. Uh, a toast to the groom, 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 groom. To your puppy. Um, well, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, hope to see you next time I go live or next time I upload. Um, and yeah, hope everybody's staying safe. Drink some water, guys. Uh, don't forget resources in the description as always. Uh, be mindful of others. Wear a mask if you choose to go out. Remember to take care of yourselves.